Ahoy, wonders, and welcome back to the table. Avast. Ye. Avast, ye landlubbers. We are on a high seas adventure out on the open ocean. And uh, it's it's about, like, God, where did we leave off last time? Oh, yeah, that's right. There's a fucking vampire ship. Yeah, we found, like, all that weird blood and spoopy stuff. It was a, it was a wild time. There's, uh, like, sharks in the water. It's, oh, yeah. uh... Wow, I actually completely forgot that that's where. Yeah, yeah no, that no. Wake, 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 wake was swimming in there, and he was just like, "Hey, what's up, buddy?" For Hold some on. reason, in my mind, I was like, like "Nah, everything's still going fine. The ship is ship shape, and we're." Grab the uh, jacket. What do you yeah. think, Zito? It's pretty uh, good. It's a pretty good time. I had a lot of fun putting that stuff together, and I can't wait to show you guys what happened tonight. Yeah, because uh, we we got a we we got a ship to save if there's anybody left alive on board, because there's a lot of dead people in them waters. Yeah, and Those all that blood's kind of congealing in one spot and not dissipating, and the sharks are even having a hard time trying to get at it. Yeah, Wake couldn't breathe. Mm. That's <laughs> Wake can't breathe in the water. Oh, good. People are uh, people are feeding uh, feeding <laughs> Roy. Oh, thank he's you. A, he's a hungry boy down there. Nom, 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 nom. One quick second. I what need is my, my, what I need is my, my eye line boost. on Roy? It's there, I think. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah! All right. Wake up, juices in me. And uh, by the way, thank you so much to our mods. I busted out the lovely bottle of Glenn yes. Levitt, uh, twenty-one year that you sent us. It's so good. It oh is delicious. Pretty sure so that stuff is older than a lot of you watching this. <laughs> this this is a bottle of booze that is able to drink itself. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> And enjoys itself whilst doing so. Mm. Ben's enjoying his with a glass of Coke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll enjoy mine afterwards because I don't feel comfortable GMing while sloshed. <laughs> I, I you had, coward! I, had, <laughs> <laughs> I play better drunk. Now where's that cow? <laughs> For the record, I had mine neat before the stream because I am not a blasphemer. <laughs> I had mine neat before the stream. And during. Did yep. <laughs> I had a sip of it. I'll probably drink more later. I just didn't get a cup before yeah. we started. <laughs> All right. So, um, we're readying a crew to go onto the Manta Ruva. Go, go check out the Manta Ruva here. Yep. So if we're just traveling with us and probably one other on the rowboat. Yeah. So sending over one rowboat can get you four comfortably six squished together. Okay. I mean, I imagine Red will want to go. Yes, I'm. Yeah. I was. I think we were instantly going to suggest that Red come along with remember, us on this voyage. Couldn't remember how common knowledge it was that she had uh, expertise in what this might be. But yeah, she. No, she. She said that's, she was the that's one who pointed. Blood. She's yeah. the one who pointed okay. out when you came back with the blood vial. She's like, that's right. no, that's vampire blood. <laughs> All right, then yes. All right, so we're going to be bringing Red along with us, and I think just because this seems to be dangerous waters. We should leave people on the ship to defend it. Yeah. yeah. Like, everybody else should probably, you know... Stay on guard. Stay on guard. Stay on guard. Especially Risk there, who, uh, you know, with game knowledge, can turn undead <laughs> and <laughs> shit like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're not bringing him along? Well, I don't know. How does everybody else... How does Risk feel about this? Like, uh, we're, we're, we're planning this right now. Yep. All right, so... Uh, Red, uh, you, you obviously want to go along with us for this one, right? Of course I do. All right. Well, uh, all right. That's, that's uh, And we can fit four on a rowboat? You can fit four comfortably, six squished together. But if you're getting a small character like Riffs or Skrung, you can get them on there comfortably all as right. well. All right. Well, I was going to swim. So if we could get both Red and Skrung, maybe we could. Uh, you want to swim in that stuff? Ooh. I was swimming there just a second ago. Mm. All right. <laughs> Red kind of is very pensive about you doing that. <laughs> She just looks at you just like, that seems like a very, very poor idea. I mean, is it because of the sharks, or? I mean, the sharks are swimming in tainted vampire blood. Yeah. Don't think that'll have any sort of effect on them or anything. I sure hope not. <laughs> I would certainly think that it would, if what I'm fearing is on this boat. I'm, I'm not sure what could make sharks like blood more is the thing. They they already like people's blood a powerful lot. Well, he's think, very tr he's very right. He's well, point. think feeding frenzy, but it never stops. <laughs> I'm gonna roll knowledge on vampires real quick. <laughs> sure. Remember, the only knowledge we have on vampires is what Eloy told us. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay, we already did that roll. Then never mind. I can't. I can't. Uh, fail RP and pretend I know more than I did last time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. I, I, will, I will bend to your logic and ride on the boat with you. <laughs> just, Red just looks left and right and just goes, 
if you want if you want to risk it, that is your cause. I just think it's a piss I it's a piss poor idea. <laughs> you want to ride on my back on the boat? Would that make you feel better? <laughs> I look at the rest of the crew and go. Anyways, the rest of you should probably stay alert uh, and make sure no one boards this ship. Can and, do. And, and, and just keep this place safe so we have somewhere to come back to. Yep, so everyone returns to their quarters. You got uh, Nedra, if anything climbs up here that's not us, <laughs> punch that, it hard. That isn't us or clearly invited by us. Do I have... There might be survivors, and we don't want to her face punch right them out. Now. She's a happy apple. <laughs> you see that little Tomato. face? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Onslow like just sits by a cannon, <laughs> ready to take care of that business. I'm sure we've had practice with that by now. <laughs> oh yeah, for the most time, uh... we've we've probably drilled on combat instructions. Yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. Come to think of it, um, we said that at the beginning of each session we'd uh, do our. Like, whatever for the week? Is that... But we're still... This is still the same day from the last time we left off. Okay. Yeah. So, that will probably take place after the Mantaruva. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> if we survive. Of Ooh. course. <laughs> I was the one being optimistic here. I'm the GM. <laughs> Always listen to the captain. I'm a, I'm a realist, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Ezra's You're... been through the shit. He's almost died several times. Are there any vampire macaws? <laughs> <laughs> You're the realist captain I What know. would they do? Would they have, like, little fangs on their, <laughs> on beak? their beaks? Their yes. beaks would be serrated. <laughs> uh, beaks are okay. just syringes. So it's Red, Us, and Skrung. Or not Skrung. Uh, Risk. Risk. Skrung is like... <laughs> nope. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, Riss will take take uh, this trip with you as well. All right. Traveling with new people. Yeah, this is exciting. Let's see how this works. Baby. All right, so you hoist down the uh, rowboat down into the waters. Not so turbulent. It's just turbulent because the sharks are kind of just, like, trying to break into the surface. You still notice that a lot of the sharks are jumping up into the water, but then thrashing around like this is wrong and then swim away. But they're doing it a lot more, more so than you've seen for the past 20 minutes it took you to get ready. Huh. How will uh, you approach? The Mantaruva is about a good, based on what uh, Pliskin told you from the rigging, you probably have a good 360 feet to row. I'm, I'm going to uh, minor illusion <laughs> and, and create, uh, try and distract the sharks uh, with, with the illusion of a dolphin off in the distance. Like splashing around, saying, "Hey, come and get me! Come and get my tentacles!" I mean, it can't make skin. sound, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna roll their insight. You roll me Whipper. deception. All right. Uh, let's see. Fourteen. Fourteen. All right. Unfortunately, they just make it by one point above you. <laughs> These sharks are too smart. No, the, the a couple shark... of them look over like, oh, this blood's way too enticing. Yeah, no, they, they have the free meal right in front of them. Why would they waste the energy going after the thing that is away from them? <laughs> fair fair enough. Them some intelligent sharks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, I guess the best way to do this is to row calmly. <laughs> row calmly, you say? Yes. If we and... roll without rhythm. <laughs> All right, so. You can't attract the worm. <laughs> Roll about a short. Oh, Who's doing the no, rowing? Too much river. <laughs> uh, I owned a rowboat. I know how to row. I'll row. All right. Roll me a d20. Oh, just a d20. <laughs> 19. 19. You're <laughs> able to handle this vessel with absolutely no You're problem. thrashing around. <laughs> yeah, even with all the sharks thrashing around, even the, like the water kind of like tipping you over left and right. Poor Eloy's kind of like mm -hmm. on four little peg leg sort of <laughs> legs right now while the fucking rowboat's going back sliding and forth. across. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll go ahead and kneel down, low center of gravity, try and stabilize myself here. I'm I, used to the water. I, I know I how do, it works. I do have the S9 Centaur sure footed, uh, so I ignore <laughs> non magical difficult terrain if that helps me. You have no, it's not magical. You're fine. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, you guys, let me uh, roll real quick. Hey, sharks. You say that. <laughs> sharks ignore you for the most part. You make it to about 60 feet with no incident. Yeah. Roll me another 20. You're now getting into the blood. I ready my crossbow. Just on the off chance. Uh, 17. 17. You feel give on the, on the rowboat's paddles. 
This time around, the water is now thick. It's not ah. just regular ocean water anymore. It's now this magical means of congealing blood that's kind of gunking up your strength a little bit in pushing the oars back to you. Gross. All right, yeah. uh, I'm going to roll, like, would it be perception or investigation to be, like, looking around to see if there's anything that jumps out as, like, either, like, where a survivor might be, like... Oh, okay, so let me just quickly explain to you what you're looking at okay. since you're, like, kind of now entering the zone of the blood. Yeah, I've been here. Yeah, so when you when you guys are now rowing over it, you're now watching as, like, there are bodies bobbing in the water. They look like civilians. One of them kind of looks like they're wearing the... Uh, Ibrakal merchant outfit as well, but just one of them. That's the only one that catches your eye that's a different. Everyone okay. else kind of looks like a civilian that looks like it's had a little bit of its flesh teared out because of the sharks yeah, trying I'm to grab it. I'm guessing every now and again you see one just kind of get pulled underwater. Yeah, like, they don't even, they go down, but then they bob back up like something's keeping them to the surface. Gotcha. You are, you are within grabbing distance at one of the bodies. Okay. You're going to keep rowing? I'm still rowing. All right, yeah, cool. Just keep going. So now it's my turn again. <laughs> you make it to 120 feet without incident. Yeah. I'm pretty good at this. Row again. And a rowing, and a rowing, and a we are the natural wonders. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoop, slipped. <laughs> Time to roll severity. <laughs> you dropped an oar. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> or, or maybe I smacked yeah. a shark right in the face or something. <laughs> Who knows? Let's see what happens. We spanked a vampire. Oh, no. Severity 64. Mm. All right. I like that Nintendo. Mm. It's a good system. You know they're making cardboard now? I feel like that's like Reggie just going. <laughs> they, they didn't buy the Wii U. Give them cardboard. Fuck them. <laughs> More kids play with the box. <laughs> yes! All right. Uh, so... You feel give on one of the oars. You look down and notice that the oar is completely fucking gone. Like, fr like, like it, it slipped like out of my hand? You, yeah, you felt like... Okay, so it's not like I'm feeling, where'd it go? Oh, half of it's gone. But the <laughs> entire the thing's thing. gone. No, the whole thing is gone. Ah! Oh. Oh, like, what the hell? Damn it! <laughs> it's, you watch as it's in the water being pulled in, and then it starts getting pushed away. It almost feels like the water's doing this. The water's taking my oar? Yeah. Water can go fuck itself. Give me back my oar. I'm going to take my fishing tackle, and I'm going to try and take that oar back. Let me roll to hit that oar. Roll. It's 19. Uh, what, what would this check be? Dex? I'd say dex, yes. Okay, so that'd be a 24. Natural 20. <laughs> Okay, so I'm actually fighting something. <laughs> Great. No, you're not fighting something. It's just that the water is congealing around the it's congealing around the oars and pushing them like back and forth, back and forth. And now it takes the tackle. And now you're stuck there. <laughs> Wait, hold on. So like, I have my fishing rod in my or it, You have the fishing rod, you put the you put the tackle in. Okay. You went to go grab the oar. It has the oar. Don't get me wrong. You, ah, I got gotcha. you. You have the oar. <laughs> you landed the oar, but it just yanked. But the now it's <laughs> now it's pretty snug. Shit! You can't pull it back. God damn it! There are probably more oars on this ship. Is the thing? <laughs> yeah. How are we getting back there, Eloy? It's like With a canoe now. <laughs> <laughs> That's my second guess. Somebody want to canoe me over to that oar while I try and keep a hold on it? Red kind of like pats your shoulder a second. Natural one. You, you watch as the oar is slowly hoisted up with some little bit of give, pulled up out of the water, and you see an ethereal hand row it back to you. <laughs> Way to go, Wake. Roll again. Roll uh, Roll me a athletics acrobat. this time, I'm guessing. Yeah, what? athletics. Uh, two. What's my athletics? Plus. It's plus six. So 23. With Red's assistance in Mage Hand and your strength, you are able to get the ore back. Thank you, Red. Just in time, because a Mako Shark kind of jumps out of the water trying to grab at the ore and re reach for it back down. I yell at an Aqua, GET BACK IN THERE! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> GET BACK IN THE WATER! <laughs> you want to roll to row again? Yeah, we'll, we'll, reposition, <laughs> we'll reposition the oars. Alrighty. Wipe off some of that blood so it's not so slick. Well, the blood's... Yeah, you wipe the blood off, you notice that there are nibbles. The sharks were biting at it. Jerks. 
<laughs> that looks like a single digit. It is. It's a nat one, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know how this is possible. <laughs> well, thanks, <Yep>. Red. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks, Red. Ew, shark bites. <laughs> It's like when you get your pencil back and somebody nibbled on oh, it. Oh, high severity. That's nice. <laughs> Did I break the ore this time? Don't give him ideas. I don't know. <laughs> it's his call. Ah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Over the rowboat you oh, go. No! As a oh, shark. I get pulled in. You are pulled in as a shark grabs the ore and pulls you <laughs> in. <with laughs> I'm, I'm going to This is that asshole I yelled at, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> I said, you son of a bitch! <laughs> You're back this ore! Am I able to... Is there any part of him within reach of me? Can I grab onto him and try and steady him Roll here? Roll me an acrobatics with disadvantage. That's not terrible. That's... Worse, but... Worse, but also not terrible. 14? Nope. You grab at him, and he is just under the water now. You asshole! <laughs> I can outswim this shark. I will take this bitch. All right. Roll athletics with disadvantage. You're disadvantage. In the You're in the blood. <laughs> I guess. That's okay. That's the, what I rolled first was worse than a nat twenty. I'll say that. Where were you a minute ago? Okay, so athletics with disadvantage. That's a nineteen. You're able to swim back out. You get on the boat, fine. You are drenched in this... With, with the oar? No. You <laughs> <laughs> that, that was my point! I am swimming this... I am oh, okay. catching this oh, damn shark! You're, all right, so do you... Okay, so let me ask this. Do you want to use that roll to grab the oar out of him before swimming up, or just yeah, to swim I'm, up? Yeah, I'm taking this... I'm okay, taking you grab the oar, but you're still in the water. Jesus, piece of shark! All right, uh, can I see the shark from where I am? Like, is it visible, or is it too deep under the water? To roll me a perception. Ba -da -ba -da -da. Uh, uh, 18. You can see the tint of blue of hide on the shark just enough that if you took the shot, you could hit him. All right. Well, I'm going to... I readied my crossbow earlier, so I'm going to take that shot. Remember refraction! Remember <laughs> refraction! <laughs> I assume that's being taken into account. If not, oh boy. I don't know if you've ever fired into the water before. Uh, good question. Hey, and that one. So that doesn't work. Fuck you, Ezra. <laughs> You've lost our ore twice. <laughs> Definitely haven't been shot. You know what the best part is, chat? We haven't even gotten to the fucking Manta Ruby yet, and this is happening. <laughs> well, we're getting all the bad rolls out of the way now. That's how statistics work. <laughs> Guys, at the rate we're going, by the time we're like level 10, it's going to be nat 20s all the way. <laughs> that or the, our, our ones are going to be so we'll catastrophic, be we'll be then. wiping out cities with our mistakes. <laughs> all right, I reach what for the happened? glass. What happened, Zito? Grant. Roll me a 1d6 and tell me what result you get. Yeah. Six. You're an asshole. Best, right. of, best of the worst. Roll critical damage on wake. Oh, okay. Boy. I am using deflect missiles. <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and roll. Well, I guess that's. No, no. Roll to hit. Oh, wait. I roll to hit? No, no, no he no, already no. hit. Uh, yeah, okay. You already hit. The severity was four. The severity was four, Grant. I thought you said low severity was better. No, high severity is high. Oh, right. It's like golf rules. Okay. Two. So that's four so damage. Four. Yep. Okay. Uh, you you grab the ore. Ha ha! <laughs> no, 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 Did I get him? no. Deflect missiles. Use my reaction to reduce a missile damage by one d10 plus dex, which already negates it, <laughs> plus monk level. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to use a key point to stab that motherfucking shark in the gills. Go for it. Roll. <laughs> Just yell. Did I get him? Uh, with a nat 20, thank you. <laughs> that shark is getting stabbed in the goddamn gills. You're welcome, Wack. So this was basically an alley-oop, yeah. but with crossbow bolts. <laughs> yes, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Let me roll my d6 in damage. All right, that's not great. That's two plus five. That's seven damage straight to his gills. All right. You rolled seven Now he's either going to let go or be very cross. <laughs> oh, no, he lets go, 
But I need you to roll me a uh, dexterity save real quick as three other sharks come in at the smell of new blood. Good, okay. Uh, 16, 21. A 21? Oh, mm. wait, no, plus three. Uh, 24. 24? Let me roll for these boys. And that 20 for one. A 26 for another. These guys are fast. And they're Mako sharks, dude. <laughs> and. <laughs> There's some added condition on them. They've been in this water for some time. Fair enough. And this boy did not make it. Two out of three. So <laughs> Two out of three what? <laughs> no, they, they kind of slap into you for bludgeoning damage. They weren't going for okay. you. They were going for the other shark. They were going for stat. the other shark, but you're taking, like, damage from this. That's fine. That's fine. Because you're, you're getting, like, the brunt of their scales <clears throat> rushing across your body. Yep. <clears throat> yep, pretty much. So let me roll that real quick. A one... Plus three, so that's four. And another four, eight points of damage. Eight damage, I'll take that and swim back to shore. Or swim back to the Yeah, boat. you get back on the rowboat, but now you guys have no oar. Hey, where'd I it go with that? I brought the oar with oh, me! That's that right. was the entire point! That's, that's right, that's right. He I keeps apologize. trying to get rid of that oar. You're not allowed to do this to me, Zico. <laughs> I mean, you are. I am, It but is I, your God-given right as a DM. But I'm not going to be that asshole. Okay. I apologize. <laughs> After but that somehow, whole adventure, somehow you've misplaced the ore yeah. yet again. Oh, you're rolling that one? Where's the ore? It's down <laughs> further. <laughs> you think at some point that motherfucker would float. <laughs> Whatever. I'm here. <laughs> I just look at you. <laughs> Tunk. Nice catch. I knew you could do it. Who wants to roll the ore again? <laughs> I mean, you've been having some <laughs> great... All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's athletics or whatever. Yep. No, it's a nat 20. It's a, I'm sorry. Oh, just, just, a, just a d20. Just a d20. Just a d20. Okay, good. Because I was like, my athletics is garbage. 18. 18. Let me roll on this. There's a lot of tug trying to get through this water, but <gasps> you are capable. But you are obviously showing strain, whereas he was being just Look fine. at this. It's not so tough. <laughs> you, now it's my turn to roll one more time. I'm just applying a salve where the sharks <laughs> were bumping into me. As you pull out the salve to take care of yourself, mm -hmm. one of the shark's tails... <laughs> <laughs> Just one of those days, huh, Wake? <laughs> with, the way, with the way your luck's going, I'm starting to think it was more your fault than mine that my arrow almost got you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me roll one more thing. <laughs> Wake punches Ezra. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the other sharks hits the side of the boat where Red is and kind of throttles her to get pushed back and hit the back of her head on the side of the boat. She is taking... Two... Ah, she's only taking two points of bludgeon damage. It's better than eight. <laughs> yep, so... <laughs> Since you got the oars, go ahead and give it another row. You are now 60 feet away from the Mantaruva. 17. 17. Uh, you have no idea why this was so hard before. You're doing this like a champ now. Hey! The water's getting clearer. Looks maybe. like I've gotten through the tough part. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for loosening it up for me, Wake. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I say looking back at myself. Rip self. <laughs> Thinking about it, I have rope. Should we tie these oars to something to make sure this, <laughs> we can you, you, you look back at you look at back at your precious salve. Just eaten? <laughs> yep, just took it with him. It's not even good for you like that. <laughs> Heel in his tummy. Well, it was either he takes the salve or he takes a shot at the boat, and with a four, I don't think he's going for you. Fair enough. He's got a he's got an ulcer, and now he's gonna get I some guess. salve on it. <laughs> well, you guys got out of the blood, so you're no longer in the blood ocean. You are now right next to the blood Mantaruva. ocean. <laughs> All right, so uh, what, what do we see as we approach this ship, now that we're closer to it? As you approach the Mantaruva, you notice that there are, uh, there are a lot of barrels. So what this uh, vessel looked like was almost like a sloop. This was a merchant ship. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of, it's uh, a little big, enough to house, like, maybe, I don't know, like 10 to 20 people. Uh, so at least like to capture, uh, to keep on hold a small crew. This was a very small transport vessel to make sure you can like just get some local cargo from one place to another. Uh, 
you notice that there are there is like one body kind of like hanging over the railings and you notice that most of the blood is kind of dripping from the side of the face beyond that it just looks like the vessel has been deserted all right we're gonna need to tie the rowboat off to this so it doesn't drift away from us good call i have rope <laughs> and a grappling hook yep there you go <laughs> we're gonna so... need to use that with, with that use, and since you're right next to the boat and it's not going anywhere, you w look at the side, the anchor is laid down. Mm. Oh, well, we'll just go tie it off there. Yeah, so you tie it off to the anchor, and there's a little bit of rope that you guys can climb yourselves onto it. And I, I hope, begin, uh, I'm going to roll perception real quick. <laughs> I want to make sure, uh, just see if there's anything, any movement aboard that might be uh, jumping us as we climb. All right, well, does that mean you're climbing first? As captain, I shall grab. I grab the rope. What'd you roll? Uh, uh, for my perception, it was nineteen. Nineteen. Whoa! Hold the fuck up. You saw that body twitch. Oh, hold on, men. This body is moving, and not in a natural. I'm a dead body kind of way. It probably needs help then. Maybe he's sleepy. I, Who knows how long they've been stranded here. I, 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 I just get, I get a very bad feeling, Wake. Are what you, else could the answer possibly be? He's either dead or he's not dead. Look, here's... There's no in-between here. It's not that he might not be dead. It's just he might be, uh, you know, who's to say he's not the reason everything went wrong? This could be a... <laughs> you hear that? That seems... That doesn't sound inviting. I rolled a 15. Do I hear that? Amidst the argument, you hear, you you look to Eloy thinking it was his stomach, but he's just happy to be here. It was just the <laughs> creaking of the boat or Eloy's stomach. I mean, obviously, no, you, could tell you guys what, have not No, been... you, you could tell, like, you, at first you thought that's what oh, it was, okay. but you looked up and you saw that it came from the body. Sir, are you okay? He's not doing good. He needs help. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Start climbing up. <laughs> You're going up. All yep. right, roll me athletics. All of you roll me athletics. Yeah, I'll climb behind you. Ten. <laughs> uh, Twenty. Modified 20 as well. Yeah, modified. You, you get your hands stuck here and there, but you're fine. Ugh. Yeah, you're, you're, you're like, ugh, God, it's all gross and everything. How long has this thing been adrift? Oh, head, wait a second. The face Would this be affected by, just real quick, just oh. so I can clarify for later. Would this be uh, affected by my second story work? Probably. Uh, it's climbing. Yeah, it's climbing. Okay, so I had dexterity mod, so instead it would have been a 13. Yeah, you're fine still. <laughs> You you still would have made it. It's Yay. like you 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 Just feel easier now. You feel the roughness and the coarseness of the rope of the rigging trying to get up, and it's like oh god, gross. Okay. And afterwards, you're like you 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 can go up with no problem. <clears throat> but uh, that fellow who's been hanging there, he's he's not having a good night. He might be a little uh, seasick, especially the fact that his face almost looks skeletal as he looks at you. I ready my crossbow. <laughs> I'm going to carefully examine him to see how alive he is. Roll in the investigation. Or medical. Yeah, would that be... I'm actually medical. You're right. That's fair. All right. Nine. Nine? <laughs> I mean, he might be bad. Sir or madam, are you all right? Do you need medical assistance? On a scale of one to ten, how do you feel? By a round of applause. <laughs> This thing is looking at you. It's not moving, though. You look at it. This thing looks like it's partly skeletal face. It's still like, got are we, flesh. Or like, are we talking about, like, flesh hanging on to skeleton, or... No, we're talking, like, it looks like a skeleton with a thin layer of flesh. Okay. He's emaciated, the poor thing. Guys, I think he might be another lich like Mr. Rattle. No, right. we need to get him back to Grammy. Grammy will fatten him up. <laughs> I, have, I have my crossbow just... On him, just just ready. Should any should anything uh, untoward happen hey, with this? Did guy? Grammy make us anything this morning? Can yeah, I say you I had, grab you had leftovers? A you had a basic breakfast. All right, I'm and gonna say you, I grab want, leftovers. Yeah, for the most part, if I say like you guys have breakfast, I'm gonna say you have at least four rations if you want to save it. Right, come on here, I, I shove some in his face. You shove rations at him? Yeah. Eat up. Oh, he takes it. He like gently tries to grab it with his mouth. There you go. <sighs> Uh, right mm. out in the water. Damn. Hey, Red, what do vampires look like? Is this one of them? 
Riss, is there anything you can do this for this poor gentleman? All right. Well, Red looks at this fellow. Unfortunately, because of how mangled the body is, I'm not exactly sure what could have happened to this man. We don't even know if this could be the vampire. He just looks like he took a very bad beating, and now he's sick. That's about as far as I can get. Yeah, he's Riss, not doing so good. Risk kind of looks to you and just goes, well, I can try. You watch him, like, reach <clears throat> to his chest, grab it, start muttering to himself, and his hand glows a faint light blue, touches the corpse's face. <laughs> Oh, what have you done to the thing? Oh. I don't know! The poor boy! <laughs> Wrist this jumps back like, I do I'm sorry! <laughs> do I shoot him? What do I do? Put that down, you're scaring him! <laughs> that thin layer of skin that was on his face burst like a bubble. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Oh, uh, oh, I think you did the Red, wrong thing. Red just looks over. No, I think he did the right thing. That's a zombie. What? What's a zombie? When you bring a corpse uh, back I to life. I don't know what it is. <laughs> that one on me trying to roll knowledge on zombie. <laughs> you know, like, Risp and Red just look to each other and just go, that's when you bring a man back from the dead. Oh, man. So that's what resurrection is? Oh, that's awful. Done wrong. Ugh. I'm going to roll perception to see if there's anything else uh, around us. All righty, <laughs> go for it. Now that he's screaming, I feel like that might attract attention if there's someone else on the ship. It's like he's not dead, but he's not alive either. That's awful. Like, what, what do you call that? Detective Wake on the case. <laughs> Holy shit. 21. 21? Yes. You are like the... I, I like, it's like he's unliving. Now, now I just imagine Wake... With, like, a 60s comic book and taking the backs where, like, the fucking x-ray specs are and just completely cutting them out and trying to send in for them. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> uh, now I can see through lady clothes. <laughs> I had a boy, Wake. Paranormal investigator fucking Wake. There All right. you go. All right, so uh, you roll perception. What'd you get? 21. A 21. Uh, there are far too many crates for you to try and navigate where anything else on the other side of the ship is. Like, the whole middle section of the ship is probably about, like, 30 feet high with crates all stacked up on each other and tethered down. Okay. Uh, you can notice, though, that this guy's blood is kind of, like, trailing behind him. He did go towards the back of the ship, but it curves from the left all the way, uh, all the way down. So you're going so to have went to towards travel the back downward. of the ship and then curve back around to come back. Yeah. Okay. So you're not noticing if anyone else around. There's no other bodies. There's just this guy right now in the trail of blood. But so far, the only thing you've got is maybe like a seagull or two that fluttered away at the okay. sound of his screaming. All right. I don't think anyone else is at least on deck. Is he still actively screaming? No, he stopped screaming when oh, like yeah. his when his face popped up and his blood started oozing out. He kind of like is gurgling <laughs> on done. his screaming and stopped and slumped <laughs> over. Anti lifer. <laughs> Wait, he's just muttering to himself. He, he's trying. It's it's like the fucking uh, it's like the Walking Dead where instead of calling them zombies, you're finding every other fucking name in the book to call them something. <laughs> yeah, you rolled a nat one on knowledge. It's not like no one can tell you what something is. It's true. This is first hand <laughs> experience, but. No, and the fucking Risf and Red told you what they are. <laughs> it's just a, okay, so it's it's not alive and it's not dead. That's weird. Whatever. Abomination! <laughs> well, it is good that I'm here then, Riff says, because then that means most of my healing touches can actually harm them. Well, that's helpful. I've actually dealt with something like this before. Really? You have? I have. I have may have created one in testing for trying to praise Usha. I know you gotta do what you gotta do. It seems a little intense for a kind of seemingly meek guy like you, but all but right. It was, it was a squirrel. Cute. Well, okay, that's closer. <laughs> that sounds about right. All right, so what do we do? This thing's just like looking back for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it doesn't seem to be meaning anybody any harm. Red just shrugs her eyes. You watch as like, by the pantaloons of this man is being hoisted up. <laughs> I mean, that seemed crueler than anything else. I mean, <laughs> bye. <laughs> I guess worst case scenario, worst case scenario, it's serving as a good distraction. 
I don't even know if that's good food for sharks. We should check and see if there are any other survivors. Yeah, probably. All right. So, everyone roll investigation. Uh, that is a modified ten. Nine. Three. Boy, we are brilliant. <laughs> Nothing up here. You're gonna want to see this. Wake's just like, hello. <laughs> is I there anybody there? Actually, though, I I do peer hello? over the side where the uh where the zombie fell in to see if the sharks are attracted by it. Oh yeah, they are. Okay. I'm just doing the opening of Day of the Dead, basically, or Dawn yeah. of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. You don't hear a voice in response, but you hear shuffling below deck. Oh, hey, somebody's moving. I'm done. Knock, knock. I'm just stomping on the floor where I hear it. Knock, knock. Yes, can you hear me? No response. I not uh. shave and a haircut. Knock, right. knock. <laughs> All right, this creature doesn't have a sense of humor. Let's leave it. <laughs> Red is uh, following the trail of blood at this point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I follow her. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you follow her to the trail of blood. However, since you're following her, you two, I'm not going to leave you go un uh, uneventful here. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of the crates is open. It's a jar. If you push the door to the left, you could probably swing it open all the way and see what's inside. Go ahead and do that. You go ahead and do so. Yeah. There is a overwhelming sense of rot and festation in there. <laughs> Roll me a con save. Uh, modified twenty. Hmm. Like in an, like if this was an anime, you would like pull back a little bit, but then stone face and stomach the <laughs> scent. You peer inside, there's a mound of corpses all stacked together properly. Like, this was, this was taken, like, these been here for quite some time. However, the bodies are, like, stacked up neatly, so they're easy to grab one from the top and just pull back out. Was this the cargo? It's like one of those smells that's, like, so rancid that you can't help but be fascinated by it. <laughs> <Yeah>. it's, like, <laughs> it's, like a car, it's like a car crash. Mm. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, Eloy, but, what do you make of this? <laughs> not, not much. <laughs> Those boys are dead. <laughs> there are, uh, there is a small box that looks like where other belongings were put into it. Uh, so there are, they are nude, but next to the nude bodies where all their, all of them are stacked up, there's a little chest that's a little bit ajar, and there's like some clothing and uh, other like trinkets, kind of just like teetering out of the box. All right. So I'm, all their possessions were put inside there. You're going to rummage through that box. There's, an, idea, there's an idea for our traveling carnival, just a box labeled nude bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Is this an investigation roll? Yes. I get a four. <laughs> oh, geez. You want to roll it? We're so smart. Yeah, I'll take a look. Man. We're the greatest detective. Six. I'm going to switch out six. this D20. <laughs> you, hey, six. You've done enough today. All right, well... Oh, that's that's a low on this scale, oh. if I do say so myself. Give me a hot second. Four. Uh, hold on. All right. You find 44 silver amongst all the belongings. Most of them are just tattered clothes. Uh, a lot of them look like they were slashed or carved away with a claw-like object. Okay. Uh, are, do I see any sort of, like... Uh like uniform emblem. No, like, this like was more of, of just, these courses this is, were. Th these are rags. These aren't okay. like uh, these are not from the bodies you've seen before. Like those look like crew members, whereas this looks like it was just cargo meant to be stored away in the box. Okay. Can I investigate the bodies? See if I can figure out what they died from, or if anything's been done to preserve them. Yes, go for it. That'd be medicine. All right. hey. There we go. Nat twenty twenty five. There is embalming on these boys. They smell like garbage, but their bodies and flesh were meant to dry out and stay that way for some kind of purpose. Mm, the cause of their death doesn't look like it was a physical means. Almost as if these were actually, like, just put down, laid to rest bodies that were just hoisted up and put away in a cargo. Hmm. So, so these are, these all of these people, based on, like, what you could see and, like, through a little bit of examination, all of these people died of natural causes. 
This is like a traveling funeral parlor? <laughs> what as, have we stumbled on? As near as I can figure, I, I don't know. We don't, I don't know how other folks do funerals. Mostly, we just, a rock slide makes a pretty good cairn mm -hmm. is the thing. So we don't have to do much when it comes to burying. I don't, I don't, I just, I don't know why they would have these. And, uh... All right, so I, I now <laughs> Riss th thoroughly uh, disgusted by the stench. Oh yeah, I guess Riss would still be around. Riss, Riss, Riss was on the next one over, trying to open it up as well. He okay. barely got enough that his small body can squeeze right on through, and he finds more of the same. Riss, do you have any idea what this could be? Like, uh, I know you've studied a lot of the religions. Does this seem like uh, some sort of post-death uh, ceremony for any this, of those? Let me roll now. Let me roll uh, history for this boy or religion. Even with a high religion, he goes, no, nothing in any of the religions say that this is part of any ritual. This just has no religional value to it whatsoever. This doesn't seem like a cult. This doesn't seem like any fanatic. There's no rhyme or reason. It's just cargoes of dead bodies. Who would, who would be shipping or wanting to receive a shipment of dead bodies? I, I mean, somebody turned that boy into a zombo could... Did somebody want these for practice? Roll perception, you two. <laughs> Nat 20. Finally. All right. So you hear a moan coming from idea. the crate where Riss is. Oh, boy. I start heading over there yep. right away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you see Riss still trying to peer in. He did not notice that sound whatsoever when he was still trying to, like, through the rocking of the ship, he wasn't able to hear mm -hmm. that moan. You, you might want to back off, buddy. That, that sounds like one of them's moving in there. The moment you say that, he, like, fucking leaps out and hits his back to another crate. Like, what? Oh. No. <laughs> no. Rest, you don't ha happen to have some sort of, like, like area heal that we could maybe do on all of these to, you know, freak out any undead we run into? Unfortunately, no. I don't have something like that nature. All right. Well, then. We don't know who these bodies are. But I have a feeling they were being used for nefarious means, and I feel like the responsible way to lay them to rest would be, once we're leaving, to burn these corpses. Because I don't know what's in them, and whatever it is, I don't want it getting into the ocean or spreading. You, you know what? Red's real good with them fiery spills. I, I, think, I think we ought to be able to do that. All right. And we should probably follow them and figure out what's going on. All righty. So you guys got 44 gold out of all this. Hey! I mean, not 44 silver. gold. Silver. silver. Yeah. yeah. What have Red and I been up to? Red and you... We've been following this blood trail, and you we... You turn the corner, and it comes out from one of the crates. Huh. That's, it uh... swung open, and you too see the giant heft of bodies in the back of a crate. That's not normal, is it? Not at all. Not even for your vampire things? I guess this could be food. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll go take a look. Red's gonna go inside. Oh, so Roll con. I. Uh, that is a 15. Oh, God. It's, it's still going through your nose, but you can endure it. <laughs> like, so long as you, like, have a chance to, like, turn your head and start coughing and be like, ah! like, that's about as hard as it's yeah, going to get I for I you. I do up my handkerchief, just, oh. Yeah. At least it only smells like blood. <laughs> just a little. It's a good, it's a good smell. Yeah. It might have been doused. <laughs> All right, so again, you're seeing like a pile of corpses neatly stacked. There was time and energy putting uh, putting these people all the way in the back and making sure that they were stacked improperly so they could be hoisted out. And you have the small box containing uh, their material goods. All right, I'm gonna do a uh, medical check on these, or can I do a survival check on these guys? What do you want to do survival wise? Uh, I just want to examine the bodies, see if I can determine like you know any sort of causes of death, something like that. That would be medical. Medical. All right. I didn't know if. Do, 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 do. Survival. Survival would have been like, hey, I want to preserve that arm particularly. Gotcha, gotcha. Can we harvest something right. from this? Uh, yeah. This is, uh, that's a modified ten, so I guess I'm just poking at him with my stick here. Yeah, you pretty much <laughs> just like, eh, eh. Any of these things alive? Just dead. jab, 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 jab. jab. Jab, jab, jab. The last jab you finally do, the hoit, the heft of body starts tipping over. Oh, roll, fuck! Roll acrobatics to get out of there. Dex check! Uh, 
18. Wait, uh, 20. Sorry, modified 20. 20? You, you take, like, a step back, like, you're just like, oh, jeez, no, fuck that. And you Whoops. watch as the giant... Uh, pe- I, I, uh, I grab moves. red as I'm moving back to... Whoop! Yep, and the mound kind of topples right over. Nice. My bad. Mr. Hansy. My bad. I think. Oh, never mind. That thing's bad. All the way in the back, something pushed it over. It looks like one of the bodies uh, from the mound kind of, like, pushed them over to the side. You notice that the hand is super beefy, too. Like, this thing has some muscle mass to it. Sir, that was rude. You should apologize to me and the lady. They don't speak. Wait. Sir! <laughs> <laughs> Red's just like, oh my fucking god. It's uh, not my fault he has no manners. You, uh, you lurch over and see that the body in question is that of a orc. Oh, that's why he's too dumb to understand common. (laughs) (laughs) Not today. Okay. (laughs) Not today. Well, you have a boy who's starting to lurch himself up. I get between uh, him and Red. Or at least I put myself in that position. Like He tries to sit up. Is he stuck on bodies? Something has him latched down there. If you uh, look down at his midsection, he has a shackle around his waist. Huh. This guy's stuck here. He's been locked in. They must keep some alive for some reason, then. I mean... Unlive. Right? Right? Un- <laughs> the one zombie. Right. Yes! <laughs> he does get it. <laughs> uh, the, the creature is trying to, like, even... It's not, like, trying to un- uh, unlatch itself. It's trying to at least get up. But it doesn't look like it has any other functions of, like, looking towards you, wanting to communicate. It just grunts and tries to get up. Red is just like, I believe we should just step back and leave this and close this up. I cut off one of the corpse hands and, like, try to toss it to the thing. It's probably hungry. Roll survival. All right. There's a survival check. And a nat 20 at that. <laughs> like a slice of bread you cut right through. Hold on. It. There you go. Right at the joint. He he looks down at the hand. <laughs> oh, gross! <laughs> Look at the orc eating eating people. Red, All right, we can go. <laughs> Red's just looking at you like. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this man? Uh, what what do the what do merfolk find fun that this morbid <laughs> sight is anything to joke about? Look. Look, I am used to seeing a lot of my friends get eaten when I was a child. Like, when I was, like, I I made friends with a few fish that I later ate. There's a lot of things that go on in there. (laughs) I certainly hope that doesn't account for higher moral beings. Oh, God, no. Fantastic. She rummages through the chest. She's not finding Jack. Do you want to help? Yeah, sure. What am I rolling? Investigation. Good. Nope. <laughs> you close the trunk on your fingers. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Yo, are you seeing these pair of socks? <laughs> I'm fascinated by the orc eating the hand. Look at that. It's like eating it like a chicken wing. <laughs> <laughs> Went for the ring finger first. You know, if I was a betting man, that was not the one I'd start with. <laughs> like I thought, like it, it just went for that middle finger. <laughs> Bone clean. <laughs> Have we caught up to them by now? Yeah. <laughs> Just like watch me like, wow, bone clean. <laughs> I do like the uh, difference in tone where me, I'm like, we should probably burn these bodies. This seems like a monstrosity. Are you need. seeing this? We, we need to stop. And like, get to him like, that's what we go. It's chained up. What if we brought it back and we took it on the show? If you no, bring, no, if you, wait. If Red just looks at you. If you bring that thing on board, I will set it on fire before it touches the ship. Well, then technically I wouldn't bring it on board, would I? All right, now, Wake, I see. I, 
here's the thing. Honestly, I like I like your moxie, but I feel like this is not this kind of sight would not work in a comedy. Oh, show. bye, Pinky. <laughs> Just ate the. See that at that time it ate the bone. If we had like perhaps a, a side horror show, this would be fun. But uh, I'm gonna say for right now, uh, in a closed uh, space on a boat, uh, R Risk mm. kind of holds his hand up a little bit. I mean, if you wanted to pay homage to Vecker, that might work. See, Risk is all about this. I I'm I'm gonna just put this out there. I conjured the illusion of a tap dancing zombie. <laughs> Ooh, what? that that seems like a way safer way of doing the same thing. I mean, I guess. The zombie looks at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, oh, buddy. I dismissed the, the illusion. You dismissed the illusion? He nope. returned. He like looks back. Anyway, I guess this is all you guys Wait, found over no, here. Wait, no. Do that again, Red says. Uh, I mean, all right. Burn it on the ridge! <laughs> See, I yeah. thought it was like the Six Flags commercial. <laughs> <laughs> no, the zombie actually like reacts zombie. poorly to this. It doesn't react to anything else other than eating, but then when it looks up and sees this ethereal creature tap dancing in front of it, it actually tries to reel back and get away from it as much as possible. I, de I dismissed the illusion, and now I try tap dancing at it. I want to see which... <laughs> Is it scared of dancing or, or other zombies? <laughs> you start doing your... Do roll a performance check. Oh, the only thing scary is well, how bad that is, you That is on in the corner. edge. <laughs> uh, 16. That one. <laughs> a truly frightful performance. Tap dancing, asinine centaur. So all we gotta do is serve them. <laughs> <laughs> He's oh. now trying to rip his own face off to get away from it because he can't get out of the shackle. <laughs> oh God! They hate dancing. Stop! Stop dancing, Eloy! Why can't you stop <laughs> dancing? <laughs> I just feel the rhythm in my hooves. <laughs> The more we learn about these things, the more positive I am we should burn the ship. <laughs> <laughs> they're, not, they're zombies. There's blood everywhere. They hate dancing. Risk. These creatures don't belong anywhere. Risk kind of looks at this with a big, sad face. He's like, I wish to put this creature to rest. All right, yeah, you go, go ahead. The creature tries to lunge at him, and he like just grabs it by the back, by under the jaw. <laughs> Ash. Jeez. Five. That is pretty hardcore, Risk. I mean, not to piss you off. Well, we probably need to be a zombie for it to work that well. Yeah, now, now <laughs> Risk like steps back and starts muttering something in prayer, and Red says, "No, that was the better solution." I guess. What whatever happened here? If it's creating the undead, these people were. If they still have some kind of reaction to that, there's a part of their soul that's still there, but their body is no longer in control of it. Putting, oh. putting these people to rest would be the best solution. All right, I guess we'll go around and make sure we take care of the rest of the ship. No point leaving these people around. I say we burn the ship once we're done. Yeah, we had the same thought. <laughs> good. It's actually going to bring that up. It's just just a perfectly good meal for Yeldon. But <laughs> I don't think I, I don't want yeah. any of this to get out is the thing. Fine. <laughs> I, underst I understand your concern. Here's the thing. There are plenty of ships in the sea. But how many ghost ships have run? <laughs> Hopefully one less after we leave. She like she looks down at the floorboards. It's not a ghost ship. You could stand on it. <laughs> I mean, like, isn't the term ghost ship meant for abandoned ships? There's still things on it. I we, guess. We don't know just yet. There could be someone still well, here. I heard something down there. Stomp, stomp. <laughs> See? <laughs> that disturbs me. Let's go yeah, me too. <laughs> let's, do, let's go downstairs and be, be careful about it. Who's All gonna right. lead? I'll take the lead, but I'm gonna hack off another corpse arm. Uh, that is a b -b 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 22. 22, uh, you grab an arm. You watch as the fingers go. <laughs> don't, don't, look, don't look, Scaffy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so, yeah, you got, you got you yourself an arm. On my shoulder. Do, 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 do. All right. All right, you guys are going to head down? Yeah. All right, so uh, you guys find the back of the ship, and there's a quarters and a staircase that leads downward. 
There are a couple of more crates strewn about. However, when you uh, look at the crates before heading down, you notice that there actually are a couple of crates with the symbol of Udarius on them. Hey, isn't that one of your gods, Risp? Yes, it is. He uh, reaches into his uh, reaches into his robe and pulls out the Ludarius symbol and holds it up, and it's the exact one to one. Yeah, that's the one. So you said this these stacks of bodies didn't have anything to do with any of these religions, including that one. No, not at all. All right, and this is blasphemy for Ludarius. Why would this occur? Well, maybe it's to be blasphemous. I, I try to pop open one of the crates. Open up one of the crates. Yeah. Uh. All right. Roll me a, a uh, athletics check. Athletics, that is a 21. 21? Yeah, you pop it open, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, you look inside, there are more symbols of Ludarius. They look like all the little things that uh, Risp has on him. Just small little badges, little emblems. Uh, hey, Risp, you sell these things, how much do these go for? You pick one up, and it starts bleeding. Ow! Hmm. Wait, me? Or no, the, the object. This one does tricks. That's desecrated. Put it down. Okie dokie. <laughs> Would vampires want these? Because that, that seems like a never-ending source of food if you're a vampire to me. That does, and that's rather frightening. Although... I mean, better see, these than me. Red picks up one of the emblems and starts examining it. Let me roll Arcana one more time. Ah, good one. All right, uh... She, uh, she waves a hand over it. She actually casts a detect good or evil spell on it. And these objects... I don't know which one it's going to be. My money's on evil. <laughs> these objects are cursed. All right. Ah. They are doing the same thing that the bodies are doing. They're emanating a small aura of blood that doesn't go away. Almost like it from the water. Huh. And you That's... saw one of the emblems you thought looked like... Uh, one of the Ibrakal em emblems on them. Oh, boy. So, this stuff. Well, there's one of the traitor emblems. So, we've got... This stuff is going around. This, this stuff uh, might be spreading. Is the implication at least I'm getting from this. Should we check inside one of those Ibrakal crates there? Uh, there are no Ibrakal crates. Oh. They're still all Ludarius in the back. Oh, okay. Uh... Beyond that, there's probably, like, one or two other crates that aren't marked, but you could easily open them up. All right. Just keep popping through things, like... Uh, you keep going through them. It's more pretty much symbols, little glass fixtures, uh, little sculptures. These look like little tchotchkes to just hand out to folks and just be like, hey, do you like Ludarius? Th this looks like a missionary ship, based on the looks of it. So it's not a trade ship. But I don't understand what why their cargo would be bodies that doesn't fit with Ludarius. He's a holy creature. Red, how does how does vampirism like like sp like does it spread through like contact with through blood? Physical, through physical contact by uh by injecting another bit of blood from the vampire into the into the other creature system. Okay. So so, so via bite or via uh via scratch, any physical form of contact has a chance of Passing on vampirism. So if he's says, cursed, re, she says, as Wake realized, he just stabbed a shark in water full of that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and she looks at your face. I'm gonna roll. <laughs> she's gonna roll insight on you real quick. Roll. Uh, do you want to fake your fear or do you want to like show off your concern? How tough are you? I don't know. Let's see how much how much of my composure I keep. I mean, it's not like I need to keep this shit to myself, but I'm confused. Like. Uh, is this a charisma check? Yes. All right, that's a seven. So I'm not keeping my, I'm, like, I'm just like, hmm. <laughs> and Red turns Blood to you, you and smiles, and that's why I suggested you stayed in the boat. <laughs> well, I mean, it, I'm not infected. We don't know that. How do we find I, that I out? like, look, not a scratch on me. I have a spell, but I feel, we have time. I'd rather take him back to the ship and be sure it's not spread or contracted, says Risf. That's going to take some time, and I'm going to need a lot of concentration. So with these cursed things, could people have been handing them out to try and spread vampirism in places? That could be the case. Either way, if we can find, like, a ledger or something, maybe the captain's quarters, maybe we can find something, like a journal or a ledger, that would let us know what they've been up to. Maybe there's more in the galley down below. 
Yeah, maybe Johnny no no sense of humor knows. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me, he's still below me. Stop, stomp. Yeah. Well, I guess he's on this level somewhere. <laughs> maybe he took a nap. That, what? Is that on a wall somewhere? No, it sounded like a, a lot more distant. It's below you, but oh. it sounds like if you walked outside, you'd be able to actually f uh, hear the vibration of the thumping. Oh. So you'd have to travel downstairs to actually uh, see this person face to face. All right, well, let's continue on, I guess, moving through this area here, seeing if we can... I'm going to do another investigation check, see if I see anything else of interest down here. Go for it. Uh, that is a 17. Markedly better than every other investigation <laughs> check we've had. All right. For shits and giggles, you decide to open up one of the crates that isn't marked. Huh. Punk. You find a potion of superior healing. Hey! Mm -hmm. There <laughs> were three other vials that looked like they, they came of the same pot, but two of them are empty, and there's only one still in the middle. Okay. So, like, there are two empty vials, but they're all the same shape, and then the one in the middle is a uh, superior healing pot. Okay. <laughs> but it's full of blood! Ooh! Alright. That's nice. This isn't desecrated, is it? Red asks you to hand it to her. Right. She will cast Ooh. Identify. <laughs> no, it's clean. Alright. Just shoot. She takes a look at the two other ones that were empty. She kind of swishes them around and notices that there's, like, a small bit left inside both jars. So they were used, and just the mm -hmm. glass was put back in the box. Okay. Well, that's... I mean, you're supposed to throw them out when you're done. That's I mean, a little inconvenient, whatever. Hey, you know what? Some some people collect glass. You, you know, know what? To be fair, I take those empty <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're the one who's always making Raptor sex bombs and such. <laughs> you're you, taking the two? I'll, I'll take the two empty... Uh, are, are they jars or are they vials? They're jars. Or bottle, I guess. A superior healing pot is probably, like, this big. Okay. Cool. All righty, so you're going to head downstairs? Yeah. All right, you are taking front, yes? Yes. You uh, head downstairs. It get You watch the light disappears from uh, outside, where, because, like, of the starry night and the moon, the moon's kind of light dissipates. You head over to the front of the door. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to light up a torch real quick here. All righty. <laughs> yep. Light a torch. Uh, it's still just a staircase, wooden ship. Everything seems fine. You start heading down, and you feel wetness on your feet. Mm. Almost like the, maybe the water kind of came into the ship from below a little bit. You look down. It's blood. Oh. Well, that's a good sign. Well, I'm guessing whatever we'll find on this level won't be very great. So it's only knee high, so it's not like it's going to be terrible, difficult terrain. Oh, it's only Wait, knee, knee high, high blood. blood? <laughs> Good lord! <laughs> you smell the salt water. Of, you smell you smell salt water and the smell of blood as well. Okay, mixed so it's into like this. mixed. Yeah, this ship has a leak. <laughs> so you go over. The door is now in front of you, and it looks like it was barred from this side. Barred from this side. Yeah. So you can, like, lift the bar and open so, the like, door. So, like, don't open dead inside kind of barred? <laughs> yeah. Ow. Well, no, it's, it's like a normal latch. Like, oh, okay. okay. Like, you don't want the cargo switching around and shit, so here's a lock for the door in case something pushes over. Is this the only door that we can see? Like, yes. the only thing in this area? It's okay. the only door you have to you. All right. You lift open the bar. <laughs> like, on the inside of the door? I think we found our friend. I ready my crossbow. <laughs> Step back, please. That's not what I... Okay, open the door. What's your... Uh, roll me a <laughs> deck save. Yeah. Okay, that is a 24. 24? You watch as a female half-orc uh, half body kind of, like, lurches forward and tries to rake at you. Whoa! Whoa, lady! And it hits the floor into the water. <laughs> it is now prone. It's trying to move up and trying to, like, just reach out for anything. Okay. <laughs> Ma'am, I think you've had enough. I take the end of my quarter staff and just, like, smack her in the back of the head. Uh, Non-lethal or lethal damage? 
Non-lethal. Non-lethal? All right, yeah, you have to claim that for, in order for me to confirm that. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, that's a nat 20. Nat nice. 20? All right, so uh, roll your damage. Do, do, do. Uh, that is nine damage total. Nine damage. Clunk! <laughs> yep, and because it's under the water, too. It's like, its face is in the water, so you hear gurgling and shit. You, she lurches up, and she has that same skeletal look on her face, like, just a simple poke with a pencil will pop the flesh right out of her eye socket if, let, if you let it. Oh, gross. Wrist, do you want to put this lady to rest? <laughs> he, Go ahead, she's still down. All right, he goes to place his hand on her, but it goes to reach for him. <clears throat> oh, dear. <laughs> Risp. Let me double check what your AC is. Uh oh. Man, I should have used my bonus attack. I don't know. Whatever. I had my crossbow trained on None it. None of these things have seemed to be a problem. Yeah, so they far. haven't seemed it's overly threatening, which are zombies I like. I, I tend to like zombies that like only become actually really scary when they are in a group. Yeah, no, she gets a good claw on his face before he can reach out to get it. Ooh. Hey, bad lady! Can I use my bonus attack now? Sure, go for it. All right, cool. I'm going to go with my bonus melee attack. Wrist, Actually, I Wrist have takes attack. a nice, like, claw to the face. Uh, that is a 20, uh, 24, or, I'm sorry, 27 to hit. That will hit. Yeah, I figured. Uh, bonus attack is another nine damage, and then my additional you, your, attack. Your, uh, what were you using to hit it? That was, that was, just, my, uh, that was just my foot as I was kicking it in the head. And then I do have an extra attack on my turn if it's not dead right Don't now. Don't worry about it, because you you kick this thing in the back of the head, and you watch as half its skull goes with your foot as it flops over. Like, mm. watching you're watching a slice of bologna get cut and then flop over to the side. Oh! Oh! Ew, it's on your feet. Ew! <laughs> my boots! I was going to say, <laughs> is this another ripped boot scenario? <laughs> well, I didn't turn into a merman last time okay. I was in the water, so... Or I didn't turn into my merman form, I should say. Risp holds his face in a little bit of agony and starts pressing it upon his, uh, pressing his hand on his face to try and uh, cleanse up the wound. I got a roll con for this boy. You okay, Risp? Uh, what happened to my? Ah, here it is. All right. <laughs> well, guys, Risp is a zombie. <laughs> Nope. Luckily, he's able to clean the wound very well Whew. with his healing touch that uh, you watch his face completely returns to its normal uh, position. All the scars gone. He's he's a good, healthy boy now. Man, that seems useful. <laughs> she, got a, she got a good hit on you. She did. And I felt something enter. I've been there. I mean, not in the... Weird, like you know, when we were fighting those. No, things. yeah, I, I what do you get you. Like red looks, looks nervous. What do you mean? As I was cleaning the wound, I felt my blood boil as if there was something extra alongside of it as it was reforming. Are is you it, okay now? Is it still there? No, it's gone. I was able to clean it out all the way. I don't have the sensation anymore. It felt like if I closed the wound on its own, it would have stayed there. All well, right. this is just adding uh, to my pile of reasons that we should get out of here as soon as we can. <laughs> Red just looks to you. I wish I could say the same, but I need to see what's going on here. I'm with her. Like, I am way beyond I understand. Curious. I understand <laughs> your dismissal for wanting to be here, but there, this could actually be very beneficial to my job. All right. I understand. I mean, all for one, one for all. If there's more of these ships floating around trying to vampirize people, I'd sort of like to know about it. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, it's just my thought was, you know, we could get rid of this one. I, I, I mean, I think, I think we're all agreed on the at the end of this, we get rid of this one. I've been talked into it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so once again, you are now uh, looking at more crates. Only this time a lot of them have been lopsided, so... It's a giant wall of crates that you could squeeze through possible locations, but it's going to take some maneuvering. I'm going to go ahead and illusion up the tap dancing zombie again and make it take point. <laughs> to, to frighten anything we come across. Alrighty, go for it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to call this boy Ray. 
This is Ray the Zombo. He's going to be our point man. Ray the Zombo. Good to have you with us, Ray. <laughs> I imagine it takes off the top part of its scalp when it does that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, you hear. Hey. And it was off to the left side of the entryway. Ray found a friend. That was not Ray <laughs> making that noise. Ray's a quiet boy. All right, let's. Uh, I, I ready as I like turn the corner. You turn the corner. It's another shackled orc. It's a zombie though. I I tap dance Ray right up in his face. <laughs> <laughs> Ray, right. so you want to get that while he's distracted? Does so. Uh, he tries to reach his hand out, but the thing has so much reach because it's an orc. It slaps him away. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna <laughs> jab the torch at it. <laughs> it's gonna be slow, but it'll work. <laughs> it's gonna be slow, but he's 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 in that shackle, so it's like you just set a <laughs> you set a chained puppy on fire. <laughs> I mean, not in so many words. <laughs> yeah, and hold on a second. <laughs> Calling a zombified orc a puppy. Seems now, a like zombified a, a very, puppy. A very maybe. false equivalency. <laughs> okay, I may have been a little biased. <laughs> seems a little bit more harsh than what we're actually doing. Look, I'm putting him to rest. It's just <laughs> the yeah. slow way. Yeah, the very slow way. And only and only about like his knees aren't going to burn away, but you know what? Risp actually like looks over to Red. Why have you not been doing that? I know you can cast fire. I don't want to set the ship on fire while we're here. That's why I have it. Reminds me, how flammable is this guy? He's been rolling around in the blood water this whole time. Okay, that's so where, I'm like, that's where the blood is coming from. So it's not gonna catch fire to anything around. Oh man, here. it's gonna take a long while. Yeah. Well, you're watching as like his hand starts to shrivel and wilt, wilter away. Okay, there's a hand. Hey, if I can just get both hands, then the wrist should be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the other hand. <laughs> I have limits. Can you only do Don't this we so all? much? No, I'm, I didn't mean that in a condescending way, Mr. Wake. It's that oh, I, I only have I only have certain amount of times I can clean wounds. Oh, well, uh... All right, I'm well, just going to attack it with the spear. Uh, that is a 21 to hit. 21? Yes, and since it's helpless. It's yeah, yeah, you can, like, coup de gras this thing. Don't worry <laughs> okay, about cool. it. Okay, cool. If I'm coup de grawing it, uh, that means I automatically do max damage? Yeah. Okay, so that would be uh, 6 plus uh, 13 or 11 damage. Sorry. You take a nice chunk to the face. <laughs> Just, like, going straight for the neck, trying to separate the head and the body. Yep, and it, it like, it doesn't go all the way off. Because of how big this fucking dude is. As long as I've gotten through the neck, I can just go pop. Yeah, he's dead. He's fucking... <laughs> got him. You're there just, we go. Now it's just a slow burn. <laughs> All right. That one's gone. But now what do we do with this? She And Red points out to the entire, like, mess of cargo crates that's barring your way. I... I mean... <laughs> Do we break through them? Climb over them? What are we looking at here? Is like the rocking of the ship continuing to shift them as we're like sitting here? You, it's not doing it to where everything's in place, but you can tell that like the wrong, wrong like movement of crates can set a domino effect. These are very flimsy crates. Some of them look like they're still trying to like stay strapped in, but. If you take the wrong crate out of the wrong spot, this whole thing can come tumbling down. Can I see a good pile of crates that look like they're good to climb on? Roll investigation. So we've got an undead yes, Jenga stack Yes, I see a happening. perfect stack that looks like it would not fall over no matter what. That is a natural one, by the way. <laughs> it looks amazing, though. Immaculate, even. All right, well, uh, roll me athletics. All right, let's <laughs> climb this some bitch. No problems. Uh, that is a da, 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 19. Great, that's the wall. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder it looks so high. Well, you're now latched to the fucking top of the wall. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, do I see? Uh, what I'm looking for is like a a way that would look like a decent path. You're looking for a decent path? All right. Uh, roll me one more athletics to stay where you are as you spider climb the fucking wet wall. I don't know. Let's say, fuck! <laughs> no. That one. <laughs> Whoa! Jeez. Ah! Oh, the blood's everywhere! <laughs> ah! You want to give it a go? Or either you, either you guys want to try? I'm trying to think. If these things are just, like, threatening to topple over, we're just getting them toppled over out of the way and then trying to climb over the toppled mess be easier than <laughs> trying to slip between... <laughs> unfortunate, yeah. crates. Unfortunate, and Red looks to you, and unfortunately, if I was to use the mage hand, it only is able to shift 10 pounds, and these look heavier yeah, than Yeah, I would, uh... Well, I mean, we got some ropes and grappling hooks. Is there, a, like, a safe place where we might be able to stand if we attach the grappling hook to one of them? And to then... either the left or to the right, you could possibly do that. Doing it to the center might bar your entrance out. Okay. I stand up looking like Carrie at the end of Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> Red's a good color on you. Thanks. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Time for me to try this. I also scope out something that looks like it might be standable, suitable for climbing. I'm going to assume that my torch is also doused and ruined at this point. Yep. Uh, I roll a 16. A 16. Oh, wait. This is investigation, right? Yep. Investigation. Uh, 12, then. Yep, you find uh, you find that just beyond maybe two layers of crates behind on the left side, mm -hmm. you can see that if pushed away just enough, you could actually reach the middle of the ship. All right, here we go, guys. This looks like a path that might work. We it's can... just going to uh, require a lot of finesse in moving the boxes right. All right, well, luckily, finesse is my speciality. Uh, so long as it's like, you know, the acrobatics and something I can use decks. If you, <laughs> if you feel that you can push the crates by yourself, you can do this just fine with an ath with a advantage. However, if you can't do it, if you don't have, if you lack the strength, you might have to get other people to do so. And that makes but things you might, tougher. You might have to instruct them what to do. Okay. All right. Who thinks they're strong? I say to the crowd, <laughs> clearly just being like, eh? Ah. I look left and right. I I got that centaur. All right. I try to explain to them exactly what they need to do to seem like it'll be safe. All right. I need you to roll me a persuasion, and you two need to roll me athletics. I'm switching dice. That last one's been doing very poor for me this run. I got a couple of nat 20s, but like five nat Actually, before, before you two roll, what'd you get? I got a 19 with advantage for both of you. Yay. That's good. It's better than that. Uh, athletics, you said? Yep. Uh, that is a uh, 23. 14. Well, Eloy had a little bit of trouble with the rocking of the boat. He's still not kind of used to this, and especially with all the blood around, it's kind of slippery. You ace it with no problem. <laughs> you guys bar a path easily. There we go. That should be safe goings. Well done, guys. All right, and you head on through. I don't know. What do you think, Ray? Shuffle, 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 shuffle. <laughs> Ray's taking a point. Little, little soft shoe. <laughs> I, I imagine he's dancing on top of the water, too. Yeah. <laughs> he's not even causing ripples in the water. <laughs> All right. You are now towards the middle of the ship. You actually watch as, like, the mast, like, is actually going a little bit in the middle of this, uh, in the middle of this galley. Uh, you can see the grate where uh, the moonlight is shining through. So you have some visibility in here. There are more bodies of what looks like could have been the crew, like the ones you saw outside getting eaten by sharks, all around the mast. Like, some of them have shackles and handcuffs to the mast. I see, my entire thing is, like, how did the rest of those bodies get out over the ship? Did something mean, had to have thrown them off, I was right? going to say either thrown off or they just tried to abandon ship and get out of whatever, like, get away from whatever was on the boat. Mm, maybe. I mean... Maybe they were okay until the shark showed up. Uh, yeah, you really could be much. <laughs> oh, the, the possibilities are perception. Thirteen. Uh, eight. Uh, that is a modified twenty. You hear crying. Hold on, wait. Can I discern a direction? It's in the back, further. 
Oh, it's, somebody's... it's, uh... So, remember how I said you were going in through the back of the ship to head downstairs? You're heading towards, like, the, uh... Like, the cruise quarters at this point. This is, like, more cargo, and you're heading towards the front of the ship where there might be a cruise quarter. Can I discern how old the crying sounds like? Roll me perception one more time. Uh, that's a 20 again, modified. Modified? Uh... Sounds like a young woman, probably around her 20s. All right. Somebody's crying. Like, sounds like a young lady crying back this way. Hold There's on. There's one thing I know. It's the sound of a 20-year-old woman crying. <laughs> <laughs> exactly 20 years old. <laughs> <laughs> it's when you're freezing to give them booze because you're a responsible adult. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So I, I, I'm going to start making my way back there, like leading the way back there. Very well. Uh... You head towards another door, sort of like the same one you had before uh, when you got, when you came in. There's no barring mechanism. However, when you push against the door, it's locked. I knock on the door. Hello, somebody in there? The crying is still going, but then it hiccups when you knock on the door. Are, are you okay? You hear crashing and boxes falling over on the side and skittering. Like, no, it's okay. It's okay. We're to help. We're here to help. Nothing. Is there a like a slat on the door that I can look through, like uh, a, a slit at the edge of the door? No. That's a right. tight door. Do you think we should just break this door down? Is that is that the option here? I'm gonna give it a quick boot, see what I can do. Roll uh, athletics. athletics, right? Yeah. Uh, that is a 19 modified. You kick it, and you feel like the middle of your heel kind of press back as something is pushing the door away. Curtain. I think it's barricaded. Probably the same door as you uh, had before. Maybe the latch is on the other side where the cruise quarters are. What was that latch made out of? It was wood. Made of wood? Okay, we can break that. You You did, like, you felt the door jiggle when you kicked at it. Okay. So, it gave a little bit of way, but it's still standing pretty strong right now. Are you okay in there? Diplomacy. <laughs> 16. No answer? No answer. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Um... I'm going to try to break down the door one more time. <laughs> You're being saved whether you like it or not. Uh, that is a 19. Again. 19? Koosh! Okay, well, it's still kind of barred. You can see the wood now, and the door kind of cracks open. So it kind of splinters a little bit It there. splinters a little bit. Like, the door is off its hinges. So, like, if you got rid of the wood that's barring it, or maybe pulled it this, or pulled it towards you, the door could come tumbling down. Like, so I, so I can see the, uh... Mechanism now, the uh, bar yeah. You mechanism. can you can see the wood that's barring the door, but if you just pulled the door in towards you, you could take away the whole door. Oh, well, let's do that. All right. <laughs> you now see a hallway that uh, splits apart to the left and to the right. <sighs> can I discern which way I heard the skittering head off to? Roll intelligence. That's a good. Oh, that's an at twenty. Nice. At twenty, it came from the left and headed towards the back. Headed towards the back. All right, well, whatever, like, whoever was making that noise skittered towards the back this way, but this looks like crew quarters. Yep, you look to the left, and uh, there's one door where there looks like there was flesh that was being eaten at, and then blood on the floor is leading into the back. And they look like hand hand-printed footprints. So this area does not have the knee-deep blood? No. Oh. Okay. Uh... I'm beginning to think whatever uh, was uh, making that noise, probably, uh... The smell of blood in this room is way worse than it was back in the galley. I probably don't notice. I still have my handkerchief on my face. Red, does anything, like, about this jump out to you uh, as far as, like, are, are we dealing with something that you're familiar with here? Is this... I can't tell if it's a vampire, but all I know is, is that whatever it is, it needs to die. Well, I mean, it could just be a scared young lady. It's not the impression I'm getting. 
I mean, it's not the impression I'm getting either, <laughs> but I'd rather give the benefit no, of the doubt rather than jumping in there and killing a young woman. I understand. All I'm saying is we shouldn't go in there uh, not prepared for a fight. All I will say is that if this creature cannot be reasoned with, do not hesitate to put it down. That is fair. I can <laughs> agree to that. So she looks into the room, and she actually does notice something. She walks into the room where this creature obviously may have just skittered out from. There are mounds of bodies stacked on top of each other. It looks like there are bite marks Mm -hmm. in various locations on the body of uh, more humanoid creatures. They look like they're the corpses that were taken out from uh, from the crates from up top. So they're like all embalmed and stuff, but there's actual blood still leaking out of them. So it looks like they had their organs preserved on the inside. Okay, maybe she got stranded here and ran out of food, and... Red holds up a whip. (laughs) Maybe she's really kinky. 20 would be when you would be experimenting. Right. Uh, right. All all I'm saying is it it doesn't seem like these zombos could say the safe word. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think they could either. uh. (laughs) (laughs) Then they only said the safe word and she ignored it. (laughs) Either way, we're dealing with a monster. (laughs) Red starts to examine the whip. It's uh, it's made of dark wood. Uh, The handle is the whip part is just straight up leather. It looks like a standard uh, piece. It looks like a standard whip. Are whips finesse weapons? Yes. They are, but they're also martial weapons. Ah, I don't have skill in that. Never mind. She does notice at the tip of it, though, it does look like there's what looks like a small vice at the end where it has jagged teeth, and the teeth are actually made of bone, like it's the part of an animal. Either way, that's still pretty cool to have. I was going to say, that just seems like a badass whip. (laughs) I kind of just want to have it. You can take it. I mean, nobody else, anybody else want the whip? I mean, I I take it for research. <laughs> okay, you can you can research it, but once you're done with your research, should you not need to destroy it or it's cursed or something, please let me know. I must die. She hands it to you gently. <laughs> Seems pretty cool. All right, if, if uh, you know, if, I'll hold on to this for now. If you want to research it later, we can we can have a good sit down and look at it. But I got I got dibs. <laughs> By the way, the, uh, it, just because you're not proficient at it, that just means you don't add your plus three to the hit. Oh, I mean, okay. you can still use you it. You can still use it, yeah. All right, great. Then, uh, my... Being proficient in things means a lot less to you. For me, it means I don't get to roll my monk damage with it. Mm. I just want my, my carny barking skills. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on! <laughs> uh, searching the room a little bit more, do you guys want to roll investigation as well yes. while you're in here? Four. Thirteen. Seventeen. I'm enamored by this whip. Riss finds what looks like the cover of a leather journal. What you got there, Riss? It says on here, and he can't, like, specifically, he, like, strains reading it. It looks like it's scribbled common, but it's really, really broken. And it's got handprints of blood on it, so it looks like someone tore this, grabbed onto it, and then probably threw it into this room. The title of it is called The Bottled Lightning Project. Bottled lightning. Sounds pretty sick. Rad. Uh, red. Yeah, rad. Rad. Yeah, rad. <laughs> it is rad, but red uh, tries to recollect that. I'm going to roll for her. Nope. She has no idea what the bottled lightning project is. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. On the off chance, I roll a nat 20. I know. I don't. I, I get rolled a four. It's a cool name. It's a really cool name. I, I, I want to learn more about this. Well, it's only the cover, so Maybe it must mean there's the more somewhere around here. All there right. are other rooms, yeah, so we may so as well try. Yep. Look, uh, there was a room across the hall, right? Well, there's rooms kind of like going around towards the back. All right. So, so. you have four more rooms going in. All right. Well, we'll move on to the next room. Uh, the next room, the door is closed. It's a wooden door with the, uh, and you try to open it, and it feels barred. Barred or locked? Barred. Man, I am never going to use this brass bar. <laughs> All right, let's <laughs> see. Uh, 
Is there a slat in this one that I might be able to fit some, like Jimmy, Jimmy the lock? You can put your hand under the bottom of it and, like, grab the door. That's as far as you can go with it. Wow, there's a, there's a slat under, but not to the side. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to, like, grab the bottom of the door, just kind of brace myself on the sides and just pull. Athletics. Uh, what is that? Oh, yeah, that's the nat 20 symbol. It's a little, uh... The little Borderlands thing? Yeah, a little Borderlands yeah, symbol. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, you... If, if I was in a joking feeling about this whole scenario and tried not to take the brevity out of all of this, I would just say it's Star Trek slides open. <laughs> <laughs> I rip it from its hinges! Yeah. Like, we're like, okay, we gotta go check this other... <laughs> oh! Nice. That one was unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was a push door wake. Yeah, no, this one was, uh, this one had, it looks like someone tried to barricade this one. There's a dead body in the far back, and it looks like a young woman, but this one died of old age. This is not like a zombie or anything. This okay, so she like just died person. of starvation? And... Pretty much. Okay. You can only assume that she died of starvation this whole time. Well, uh, uh looks like been... this one got off easy? There are two bunk beds... Uh, one has a small child that actually looks like it has a knife sticking out of the center of its stomach oh. on the bed. I have a feeling no. a tragedy took place here. Yeah, that, that's a mercy. That's a mercy killing if I've ever seen one. Yep. And off to the side is another small chest. Well, let's go look at this. Would you like to check it for traps? Ah, uh, sure. Investigation, right? 17. 17. This woman had enough time to make sure that no one would get into this because it looks like there's a trap string attached to the back of the chest that when you open it, it uh, it releases a latch of some kind. Good call, Wake. <laughs> yeah, go uh, ahead and disarm that. Yeah, this uh, this seems bad. You got thieves tools. You can do that yes, easy. That's a that's sleight a, of hand. With advantage, I with, think. Uh, yeah, with your... Uh, isn't, that disadvantage, isn't that with uh, your thieves tools? Yes. Uh, as a proficiency? Yeah. 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 All right. Well, then I got a modified 24. Child's play. You cut Snip. it. Snip. Yeah, you cut it, and you hear the latch open. You look down, and it looks like it was supposed to open up something underneath you. Ah, this looks like it was going to be a trap door. Which... Well, I'm glad we didn't fall into that. Wow, this person really thought this through. <laughs> Whatever this, whatever's in this chest, they didn't Riss want us to kind of, that. like, looks over it. I don't think this might have been for her. I think this might have been here well before this tragedy took place. Well, fair enough. Whoever didn't want us getting into this. You open up the Failed. chest. Yeah. You open the chest. Ha <laughs> ha, secondary trap! <laughs> no. God damn it. You open up the chest. Oh, now fine. to bust out this fun little die I never thought I'd get a chance to use. The treasure die. Ooh! Ooh. Ah, it's just two gold. Hey! Oh, no, no, no. You, this is pretty good. Fuck me. All right. Well, congratulations, boys. You are now the owner of a chest full of gold. This was the entire merchant ship's stock of money with 1,080 gold. Hey. 1,080 gold. Pull a 1080 on this gold. <laughs> All right. Well, Skrung's going to be happy. <laughs> Do you, uh, Risf is looking over at the child. He uh, pulls out the dagger. It's very, very ceremonious looking. It doesn't look like a normal dagger. The blade is spiraled out almost in an S-like shape. It's like serpentine? It's yeah, a cool it's a serpentine-bladed dagger. dagger. He pulls it out, looks at the child. There were bite marks on this child's neck. Mm. Oh. Ooh. Said, red, like, red looks a over a sack yeah. of gold. Yeah, <laughs> red looks over as well. An act of mercy, then. No doubt about it. There are vampires on this ship. That's how they get in through the neck. They bite the neck. Ooh. But they don't become vampires unless they take the blood too, right? They transfer the blood via bite. Oh. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, well, put we're that, in the body. Put, put, put that in the backpack. Ching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I mean, they aren't using it. <laughs> yeah, uh, Risk goes to look at the mother, and I'm or the woman on the in the far corner. Rolls a seventeen. She is clean of a bite. She died probably. She looks like she died of natural causes, or based on how thin she is, she died of starvation. Uh, Risk, is there any sort of like prayer or something we do over people like this? Or I would feel a lot more safe not knowing that there's a monster that possibly could turn me into something like this on board a corpse yeah i mean get rid of it perhaps when we're finished <laughs> all right fair enough <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> next room <laughs> all right third door is opened all right hey. i don't even have to rip this one off its hinges hold on perception listen check nat 20 all right i like this dice a lot you hear, uh, not from the room, but on the side where there's the wall that kind of bends over uh, towards the so back. So around the corner. Yeah. So around the bend, but on the other end of the on the other end of the wall, you hear something thud, topple over, and then you hear a woman scream in aggravation. I head over there. Yeah. <laughs> right, I think we'll check this room later. All right. You're gonna just head over there instead. Yeah. yeah. Sneak. Well, before we do that, we're going to take a small break. All right. For the record, that's a nat 20 on the sneak. <laughs> you know what? Fine. Before, since you rolled the dice, let's at least get through this first. So all, right. all of you let's, roll let's, sneak. Let's see what we run into. Roll sneak. 18. Modified 21. All right. That's risk, and that's, that's red. Beautiful dice. Pretty I like, good. I like this one. Pretty, I've pretty good. Before, but if it's over 20, I probably don't need to say right. modified. The, yeah. Because... <laughs> All right, so uh, you guys hear that. You immediately crouch down and try to, like, just... Yeah, you get in defensive mode. You start walking around the bend, and it keeps going around until you reach the back, and there's a door that leads into that wall that was on the left side of you this whole time. You peer... Who is taking point, by the way? You? Me. You peer inside, and without saying anything, you notice that there's a woman... There, uh, there's a woman standing in, like, tattered rags. She's kind of, like, trying to scrape at boxes, trying to open up something to try and find, like... She's frantically looking for something inside these boxes. But in the middle looks like the shambling, like, moving corpse of a human, almost in broken plate mail, who's kind of sitting crucified style in the middle of the in the middle of the room there are candles lit around this boy and there's a pentagram on the floor where he is in the center oh this is fucked up and we'll stop there for a quick second all right <laughs> going on a break we'll be right back see you at, a, at the the back yeah welcome back to the table everybody uh we got bam map time <gasps> my people oh, Bam, map time. Bam, there we go. Magic. Yeah, it's not quite zoomed in where it needs to be, but hey, that we'll works. Figure it out. I didn't know All how much of this here. map we needed. Yeah. All right, so uh, we uh, we stumbled upon hell. <laughs> <laughs> Something weird. A scene from Doom. <laughs> All right, I don't, I don't like, like I, I'm, I'm just like peeking around the corner. There's a lot of fucked up shit going on in here. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, she's real kinky. <laughs> I wonder how important this pentagram is in that if I just shoot a crossbow at one of the candles and knock it off, will that be enough to interrupt whatever she's doing? Maybe we should try to sneak into the room because it looks like... Because uh, she's turned away from us, right? Yeah, she's and, she's busy searching through crates right now. All right, I'm going to try to sneak into the room. Can I use the continued sneak that I already have, or do I need to roll a new one? Nah, you rolled sneak enough. Okay. Well, actually, if you want to go inside, you have to roll a sneak. Okay. Right now, you're silent. She doesn't know anything about your, pres your presence right now. All right, my new sneak uh, for getting into the room is a uh, 21. You don't hear shit, Captain. All right. Uh, that's me. I'm the captain. <laughs> well, he don't hear man. shit. You don't hear shit as I sneak into the room. <laughs> yeah, you're just like, wait, quit. Wait, he's not there. Where did we go? He's so quiet. <laughs> All right, you have sixty. Uh, you have sixty feet to go and sneak in. All right. Let me maneuver myself here. 
Uh, what way is the gentleman on the floor facing? Is he just facing the ceiling? He's facing you right now. He's he's not alive. Like he, <laughs> oh good. He's like fucking, he's not gonna give us he, away. He's hanging. He, you you have a fucking Jesus moment going on right here, and the guy's dead. Five, we got the guy in a caught him in a T pose. Yeah, yeah. 35, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. I'm what what's this? Ooh, is this that crate? That's a crate. All right, I'm gonna try and duck behind these crates here in this corner. All right, you have half. I'm gonna say right now you have half. Uh, All right, well I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue that stealth check, just kind of being hidden there. All right, what do you guys want to do while this is going on? Do I get a better look at her from here? Oh, indeed you do. Okay, what what am I seeing now? You are seeing a very very pale humanoid woman. Her ears almost resemble that of an elf. She's like got, has her mouth open and she's like huffing and growling almost animalistically as she's reeling into these boxes trying to find something. Every time she grabs like maybe a small minuscule of flesh, like almost like she's going through one of the corpse boxes, she probably like scrapes out and finds like a bit of like jerkied meat. She's like going ah, ah, ah. like she's desperately trying to eat something right now to do I don't you don't know what the deal is, but this is a very pale. She does not look like an intelligent girl. creature, though. Um, she doesn't. No, she looks. She feral. seems feral. She's okay, very so feral. I'm going like so. By that assumption, I'm like, okay, she probably didn't set this up, or maybe she did, and then eventually went and starved herself. Who knows? Either way, what are you guys up to? <laughs> yeah, what are you right. guys up to? Hey, you big dummy. Vicious mockery. Yeah. I'm just like, come on. Come on. You know you want to. I, t I want to do that after stealth has been broken. Yeah. <laughs> it and doesn't I'm know I'm here. <laughs> as long as I'm hidden. Actually, you should be the one hidden. I was yeah. going to say, you you jumped into, into what, what looks like the best spot for cover right now. So I was like, well. I'm also faster than you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think I would have gotten there, whereas you would have gotten yeah, like almost there. Only made it part way. So if that's the case... Um, all right. I am going to st stealth myself into basically just a better position to just try and get a shot on her. Um, get an angle right. on her? Yeah. Just to let you know that cross is there, so it's like... You, oh, so it's like blocking stuff? It could... Oh, okay, I see it now. Like right yeah, there. like that's reaching the ceiling, so it's like okay, a 10-foot so across cross where the guy is hanging from, and he's, I want to say, a good 15 feet in the air. Okay. How... Uh, this might be a perception roll, but how sturdy does that cross look? These ships got high ceilings. It's it's attached to the ceiling. Okay. So it's like ceiling into cross into floor. Okay. <laughs> Wondering if I... <laughs> nah, I'll do that later if I do it. Because I'm thinking, explosive bolt on the top of that cross. Just bring this whole thing down. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's a load bearing. Yeah, it's the... Uh, man. I mean, if not... we really want to be assholes, we could just sink this whole ship. I'd be fine. Well, I'd, that's <laughs> that's eventually the plan. But I want us to be able to get out of there. Uh, I am going to just try and start sneaking around her. I might not end in cover, but I'm going to start kind of sneaking the other way to just get a pincer maneuver on this. Roll stealth. That's not as good as I would like. Um, got. 18. 18? Roll in. Give me your position. All right. Just kind of along this wall. I start from here, right? So All right. I, I, I look out of the corner of my eye, and I... I oh, you stepped on a creek? Yep. Great. <laughs> I stand up. <laughs> To grab attention. <laughs> well, roll stealth again, I guess. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, ten. I'm going to say maybe with that line of sight you're hidden behind the cross. Who knows? <laughs> nah, she saw the both of you now. Ah, great. Well, that's it for bus. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Combat time. Yep. Roll initiative. All right. She still doesn't See, know Ste Eloy or Red Ste or Chris for there. <laughs> yeah, stealth for me doesn't mean as much as it does for you. So that's yeah. what I was trying to do there. Yeah, I, I appreciate the effort. No problem. Uh, initiative, mine is a... I'm going worry. last. Just going to let you know. <laughs> 
Uh, Live it up to that old name. It's just uh, it's just roll plus dex, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Roll, roll okay. plus initiative. Uh, nineteen. Nineteen. All right. Uh, you. Uh, four. Four. Seventeen. Now for wrist and for red. Ooh, hot damn. Risp is a fast boy. And so is Red. Yeah, I just imagine you step on the creek. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah. All right, so it is literally the vamp uh, the vampire girl's turn. Okay. Who does she take more notice of? Oh. <laughs> well, all right. Combat over. I was going to say, guessing. Who's that coming towards? Roll perception, everyone. That is a... 19. 20 d- 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 plus wisdom, that's right. 22. 13. It's not coming for you. Shit. It's coming for Look you. Look out, Ezra! Okay, hold on. Uh, What a thing. Uh, okay. Uh, well, is she like... On me? Do I have time you, to do anything? She's on her you, way. She's on her. All you know right now is that she's, she's on her approaching. way. But okay. you have no fucking idea where. All right. Okay. She just went invisible. Okay. Uh, since my initiative was so bad, I'm guessing I can't do anything until it's my turn, though, right? Unless you have a reaction. I, I'm guessing throwing a bunch of ball bearings on the ground is not a reaction. No, it is not. <laughs> okay. Well then. I have something I can do on my turn. Well, I know she's coming, but I can't do anything about it, apparently. Mm -hmm. Until she does damage, in which case I can do my uncanny dodge and half its damage. Uh, hey, Zito, can I borrow a player's handbook real quick? I just want to see an item. Sure thing. Handbook. There you go. Thank you. No problem. This gives her advantage on attack rolls. Yeah, that's what I figured. Pretty sure you said since Risf is a fast boy, he's going to go before me, right? No, he's going to go after you. Oh, after me. Shit. All right, then i got to find this thing quicker. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, she got uh, me. What is your AC, my dude? 15. 15. Got some studded armor, so uh, you got a little better. Studded armor. That's cool. Hey, um, Don't know if do I me a you. favor. Roll me a con save. You got it. Okay. That's not great. Uh, seven. You feel something crack your neck to the side, and something <laughs> pierces your neck. Ah! 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 Someone's on my neck! Someone's on my neck! You guys watch as two giant holes appear well, on the watch. side of his head, and the blood starts oozing up and ah. disappearing. Ah! Ah! I don't like this. Not one thing. You notice that there is an... Cor an incorporeal version of the girl latched onto his neck and holding him back. Good, I can see her. You can see an outcropping of her. And did that deal any damage? Again? Oh, yeah, it did. It. Let well, me then do that. What I'm doing is not oh, wait. what I'm doing. Damn it, I just realized Uncanny Dodge specifies an attacker that you can see. Yeah. <laughs> You're turning invisible, fucked all of that. <laughs> so, whoops. Let me roll that damage, my dudes. There. Here, hmm. Okay. Well, uh, it's a plus four. Oh, Lordy Lou. Twelve points of damage. All right. And you feel as if the Fuck. the inside of your veins begin to spasm. All right. Uh, it is now your turn. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Five. Um, oh, I should, 20, I should probably 20, put her. Uh, I'm not going to put her back because while she is incorporeal, mm -hmm. you can see her outcropping, but it's still not enough for you to get a good shot on her. Okay. Like, unless you got right up to it. Also, just realized 30. I have cunning action. And, and then using my spear with, with reach, mm -hmm. I'm assuming, like, she's in that five-foot... <laughs> Gap somewhere right there. Get it off me! Get it off me! Get it off me! Wait. Somewhere around him is the vampire. Well, I see her incorporeal form, like yeah. The so mistiness. you know, you know that she's in front of him, but now you have to decide which space she's in. She is 
somewhere here. Ow. Careful. Well, is his blood still being drunk right now? Yes. Well, I feel like that would give away our position. That kind of gives hardcore. away the position pretty hard, at least where her face is. Alrighty. Then I will grant you. She's right here. Oh, that's very convenient. <laughs> Alright, Silver Spear stabbing. That is a 20. God damn it, why did I take away my character sheet? I should know what my pluses are, but we just leveled up, so give me a moment. Isn't it plus three? Uh, well, it's, uh, yeah, it's plus eight, so that's uh, 23 to hit. 23 to hit. That will hit. All right, excellent. And this is with silver, so yeah. if, if, that it does changes, any if that changes anything. Okay. All right. I'm not going to tell you if it does, but if it does something, I will calculate the damage. All right, that is uh, seven. I'm going to use my bonus attack with a punch. That is a 20, uh, seven plus eight, 25. To hit, which I'm assuming still hits. Yep. That is a 10 damage. And with my extra attack, I'm going to do with the silver spear again. That's a nat 20. <coughs> All right. Why did I stop using the silver dice for those two rolls? <laughs> All right. Nat 20 on uh, 11 damage. From 11 last damage. So total. Uh, okay, 11 plus 9 plus 7. So 20, 27. Yeah. 27 damage? All right. Yeah, no, you get a good chunk out of her. Yeah, she is now visible for everyone Punch. else to see. Stab! She is now visible for everyone else to see. She looks over to you, finishes up her meal. Ah! I mean, not literally, right? <laughs> it's like no, finishes. not 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 dead, but she, <laughs> she's like she got a good chunk out of her meal. She's like, I'm not finished. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, now you have my attention, and she looks like. Nothing has just happened. You you literally hit her, and there's no visible fucking... Like, you see the hole. The hole's there. Like, the stabs are there. The stabs but, are there. But she seems But the flinching unfazed. is and, not and, occurring. And, and, and the... Like, she, there was, like, no give to the punch. Yep. Or maybe there was, like, a little give, but she just bounced back. Yep. Oh, this ain't right. <laughs> All right. We are now up to red. What's going on in there? <laughs> red turns the corner. Oh god damn it! <laughs> she like she notices that it's on your neck. Oh well. Oh boy. Good. Now I got two of them to kill. What? <laughs> Careful, Captain. This might be a mutiny. <laughs> <laughs> Does, doesn't my elf blood do something? Uh, it tastes better. <laughs> <laughs> my fey ancestry. This is some kind of charm, right? She'll uh, fling a fireball at uh, Miss Vampire Girl. Isn't that AOE? No. Oh, okay. Good. Uh, let me roll. Well, hey, I can see red, so I could uncanny dodge that. <laughs> she, well, now you can see the monster. Well, let me, let me see if she even hits you. Because <laughs> if she rolls a nat 1, that might be a probability. No, it's not. She rolled a 19. Hey. You're fine. She, All right. She gets a hit. Boom. Where do you want her to be, by the way? I don't like, I'm guessing she's like, turned the yeah, corner. Yeah, like right there. there. Right yeah. there's fine. She doesn't want to be in the actual combat, because that'd be stupid. Yeah. She's a wizard. Uh... All right, let me roll the damage. Do do do. Ooh, Ooh well, fuck me running. That's some good damage. Times two. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Thing is, she doesn't realize I came prepared when she went for my neck. I gave her the alchemy jug and I had filled it with poison. With mayonnaise! <laughs> <laughs> now she's eating nothing but mayo! Ah, mayo, my only weakness! <laughs> I hate eggs! <laughs> it's like sunlight in a bottle. <laughs> Have some vitamin D! Yeah, here's some sunny D, man. Uh, that did something. She actually pushed you away when that happened. <laughs> like the fire? Yep. When the okay. fire hit her, she pushed you away and now she's like just scrambling around, screaming in agony as she's now, like, lit ablaze. Uh, right, that helpful. Yep, you are knock prone because of that Me? now. All right. Well, that'll learn you. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> Not you, her. <laughs> Risp notices you. All right, so. Good, because that my plan was going to be, uh. <laughs> oh, no. Disengage and run towards Risp. 
So, uh, let's but see. But since I'm prone, can't really do much there. So I'm going to say since he turned the corner, I'm going to move him here. Let's see. One, since he's got squirmy, he can just go whoop. Two, three, four, uh, two, three, four, right here. Oh, this is a this is some bad deal. This is some bad dealio we got going on right here. Yeah, no, Ezra's having a bad day. Oh I no! I should have gone with my initial instinct and just put a crossbow bolt in her rather than try and move closer. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, he's gonna go ahead and lay hands on you, but he's not healing you. He's removing disease. That's hey. You know what? That's <laughs> that seems more important. <laughs> yep. So, as Riff puts his hand on your neck. It staunches the blood from coming out, but you still feel the pain. Ow. But there's no longer that feeling that something is bloating the inside of your neck and choking you. Oh, okay, I can breathe. Oh. You could have lived forever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if it wasn't for Red, I was ready to become Vampire Ezra Captain. <laughs> it is now your turn. Oh, wait, your turn. Yeah, 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 right. He goes last. Yeah, he's, he goes last. I forgot. I'm sorry. All right. I'm going to gonna get up next to Red here. Hey, guys, how's it going? And I'm gonna cast, uh, gonna cast Fairy Fire on the vampire. She gets a Dex save. Dex save. Um, for I worry you. because she seems pretty fast. Uh -huh. Yeah, but what you got? Will a? Well, she rolled really low, but she's got crazy fucking Dex from what I wrote down. So, does a 17 dodge? Ugh, unfortunately, it does. Shit. Well, that's a. Uh... That's a death or glory attack, so no glory. <laughs> so it catches you on fire and you're dead. <laughs> By the way, just player knowledge, you still have that loaded ring. <laughs> she looks around and notices you. That's Horse. a big sack of blood. Her mouth is salivating, even though she's on fire right now. Yeah, you wouldn't be the first thing to try. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking awesome. All right, your turn. <laughs> My turn? All right. Uh, so I have that charged heat ring. And you are like point blank yeah, with her. Yeah. Even from the ground. <laughs> Eat this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. So with that, uh, I, I'm guessing I have to take time to get myself on my feet. Well, you can f probably fire it from the ground. You can't attack from the ground. It's just going to give you disadvantage. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to stand up. Standing up is just a move action. Yeah. Yes. And I say... I mean, you're dabbing right at her. Yeah. Just... Uh, get, get behind me, thought, as I say, <laughs> with, uh, <laughs> with, uh, with a fully charged heat ring. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh, I, I was waiting for the longest time. I was like, how long until a thought meme pops up in this fucking campaign? Be gone. Today yeah, is the be day. Gone, thought. Bam. Boom. <laughs> Firing so, off the ring. Yeah, so how does that work? I, I've never actually had to use this in combat yet, so what am I uh, rolling for a fire ring? Uh, you're just pretty much roll to attack, and you're... Yeah, just roll to hit. Got it. Great. Uh, is this any sort of dex? What are we looking yeah, at? Yeah, roll dex. All right, cool. Then it's I, a ranged attack, so right. we'll go with dex. And all right, well, hey, you know what? That uh, gives me a six. <laughs> Plus your proficiency? Uh, for dex, three. Plus proficiency? I mean, he, does he, he get. He doesn't get proficiency. Oh, you don't this. get proficiency for this? Ah, oh, no, that's too bad. It's a magic weapon. Womp womp. Yeah, no. She just, like. Dodges well, to the side. Either way, uh, after that, uh, I use my cunning action to disengage. To disengage? Very well, you used your move action. Well, no. it's it, Cunning action is a bonus action. Oh. So okay. I'm, I'm assuming I can use that to just... Yeah. Whoop, backing out of there. Does that give you a full move again? I, I don't think so. Would that just get me out of... It just gets you out of combat. Yeah, so get, she, she, she say, doesn't like, get an opportunity attack. Okay. All right, next yeah. time you move away from her. Okay. Yeah. Oh well, we'll have to recharge that ring. So to where were you out facing this time? Uh, where were you facing when you charged the ring? He was facing her. Yeah. Okay. You were facing her, and she missed. Oh, okay, the cross is on fire. All right. Boom. And the, metal. And the <laughs> and the fucking pal the paladin looking fellow that's hang hanging up from there begins to scream in agony. But I thought he was dead. <laughs> Sorry. Well, no, he he looked like he was dead. For Great. all you know, it could be a zombie. <laughs> Next, 
turn is her turn. Yep, her up. Said she was looking at Eloy. <laughs> Fuck her. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I was trying to prevent with that uh, with fairy that fairy fire. fire. Yeah. <laughs> Just do that as a fucking free action. No, no, no. Fuck that. They like. <laughs> she was I'm, right going to there. Make, I'm going to make a uh, proficiency check. If I get it high enough, can I get an opportunity attack on shit moving around me? Or not proficiency, uh, perception. perception. Yeah, roll perception. Another, I, that, that's I the, love this fucking dice! What'd you get? Matt 20! You fucking 20. load that thing. All right, I was going to say, hey, I, I was, before you said that, I was going to say everyone roll a 20. Everyone roll a okay. perception. Okay, everyone roll a 20, great. <laughs> Nope. All right, I, I don't know. May, uh, maybe Gearbox did preload these dice. Who knows? <laughs> but it, I have no way of proving or disproving. Well, that, that dice is now banned from the rest of the play. Damn. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I'd have to do like... No, it's well, That fine. was a six. No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't give a shit. Uh, he doesn't give a so, shit about loaded dice. Oh, sweet. <laughs> to be fair, it's just counterbalancing all those nat ones I rolled earlier. That's fair. What'd you guys get? Uh, let's see. Uh, 21. 21? Uh, 23. It's not going for any of you. But did it move out of a space that would have incurred an attack? Not close to you. It was right oh, next to me! Right she there. was right in front of me! Because <laughs> I was going to say that as soon as you feel the pitter-patter, oh. you reach back and hit her just <laughs> as she's running behind you <laughs> so you know where she's going she's Bitch. going behind you all right so when i hit her did that knock her out of the invincible or invisibility she's no longer invisible because you actually hit her however oh, sorry <laughs> she did everybody's attack. toppling everyone's dead stop for fuck's sake wait for fuck's sake man If I, okay, so yeah, should, should I at least roll for damage yeah, on that roll, hit? Roll, roll for damage. She's right there. All right. Uh, since I'm guessing as she was running, I hit her with the blunt end of the spear. This is just regular. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's you're, you're a. Getting, you're getting free like, like attack on her. Yeah, that's eleven. Eleven. All right, that's fair. Elo, she's right there. <laughs> Yep, so now you, instead of having to roll that do uh, dodge I was going to ask you for, you can now see her, so okay. you saw her coming your way. So now this is just a base AC attack. All right. She does not get advantage on this. Does a 14 hit you? Uh, it does not, thankfully. Barely. Uh, you AC 15. You saw her coming at you, and just in the nick of time... You watch as her mouth unhinges like a snake and she jumps into the air. You reel back and use your horse-like leg to bash her in the face away. <laughs> no. <laughs> However, she will now use the blood that she consumed from Ezra mm -hmm. to activate something else. Uh -huh. Oh, good. Oh, she gets a lot of actions. She gets two actions. The movement? The, oh, two attack actions, gotcha. Yeah, two attack actions. And she heals. No. With all the blood that she drank out of Ezra. Oh. No. <laughs> I'll make her eat that. I mean, I guess she did. <laughs> Your turn. All right. Bitch, I ain't done with you. What's the matter? You don't like sushi? Ugh. I stab at thee. Uh... Yeah, that's that's a hit. It's oh, I'm assuming anything over twenty three is gonna be a hit. Yeah, it's gonna okay. be a hit. Okay, uh, do, 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 do with the silver spear. Uh, seven, bonus melee attack. Uh, that's a twenty one. Twenty one. Yeah. All right. Well, congratulations. You pop her so good that like, half like, her spine rips in oh, half. Oh, well, no, 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 no. I, I, I attack, like, uh, my roll to hit is 21. Oh, your roll to hit is 21. Yeah. yeah, that hits. No, I'm not doing 21 damage on one cow. hit. All right. Uh, total damage, or uh, this damage is a 10. Yeah. All right, so total damage I have dealt is 17 this round, or, yeah, 17 this round. And then my final attack is with the spear again. Uh, that is a 21 again. 
Or no, not 21. This is, yeah, no, that's 23. Hit. And that's another 10 damage with the silver. So 17 silver damage, piercing, uh, 10 blunt damage. All right. She's not looking too hot. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yes, she you, was on you, fire. You stabbed that old wounds that looked like they were kind of congealing back into place and just made the hole nope. bigger. <laughs> stab, punch, stab. All right, she's still standing, but she don't look too hot. Next is. Actually, uh, one other thing I want to look up. Oh, sorry. Did you want to do something uh, else? I, I... Not retroactively because I did not choose to, but I'm going to look up a skill real quick because I can't remember if it affects undead or not. Mm. Very well. Um, Red's turn. Okay. Snaps her finger, makes a small fireball, and hurls it at the vampire. Okay. Hot damn, that's a hit. Hey! You watch as this girl grasps at the sky as the fireball hits her, and the front of the front of where her flesh is on the front side of her body just sears away and it envelops around her, and she turns to ash, hitting the floor. All right. However, you still got Screamy Boy on the uh, roost over there. Yeah, I'm going to go try to uh, break his shackles. Don't You don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. He did it for us. <laughs> Wields the cross like a sword. Oh, great. <laughs> Well, Johnny Dark Souls. <laughs> well, it's on fire. <laughs> I, well, I assume I hit it with a ball of fire. And he doesn't get to engage in combat until after everyone's turn. Uh, he's wearing playmail. That I don't good. think he's a friend. <laughs> yeah, that's the distinction I got. So who is... Uh... Well, if Red just went, then it's... You hear him say something, though, just before he looks to you ready for combat. Forgotten one as Ludarius. Now I am one with Usha! Yeah. Hey, Risp, that means something to you. Yeah. Well, translate. He just joined what essentially is the demon side of the coin flip. All right. Mm. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's about as much as you're going to get out of Risp. That was a free action. That's fine. Right. Oh, that you get, you're getting a small thing. He's just like... He's joined the dark side pretty much. <laughs> okay, that's bad. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we are now up to Risf. He's going to use another lay on hands on you. Just to heal you up a little. Just to Please. heal you up. I appreciate it. Yep. Well, congratulations, me boy. You're getting 15 HP back. Hey, wow, that back to full. Back to full. It's like I didn't even get bit. You look at this guy. Uh, he's got like broken plate mail on on his chest. Uh, probably enough plate mail that on the left side of his leg where it's kind of visible, but the other one is like his flesh is sticking out where it looks like the other half should be there. Okay. And you can see like. He's got a little bit of uh, facial expressions left. Like, he's kind of halfway going from... Yeah, sorry. He's kind of halfway going from that skeletal zombie-looking look on one side of his face, and then the other half looks like he's still retaining a humanoid feature, but his ear is pointed up, and he's got fangs coming down out of his mouth. Is that one of them vampires, too? Red's just like, uh-huh. All right, he's got... Okay, we'll put him down. And da, 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 da. so Risp did that. Your turn. As as near as I could observe, when the other one went invisible, was she casting a spell? Was she like making incantations? No, she just looked at you and then vanished. Like you watched as like her skin just turned invisible. Gotcha. Uh, if that's the case. Yeah, let's not uh, let's not fuck with this. I cast heat metal on his arm. There you go. <laughs> nice. As soon as you mentioned plate mail, I was like, if that guy fights us, I'm gonna <laughs> use any chance I get to be like, Eloy, yep. <laughs> eat up that armor. <laughs> Now's your chance. Host him. 
So he's going to take 2d8 fire damage. Uh... <laughs> yeah. ah! Dude, I wanted to give you this moment. I'm like, please, please do it. Oh, trust me. These, these guys are just like designed to play to my strengths. Uh, 11 fire damage. Congratulations. That was 33. <laughs> oh, damn. They're oh, like super times vulnerable. Three, Jesus. Whew. Whoosh. Whoosh. Yep, so added onto the fire that was already enveloped yeah. on him. Now he's a giant, giant dude on fire with the cross, and now the cross is on fire with it. <laughs> so is he just taking her turn in the uh, rotation now? No, he's at the end. Oh, okay. So oh. it's now yeah, Grant's so turn, and so then he goes. Gonna... Okay. And then we're back up the list. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, this might be kind of stupid, but I have a plan. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it already. Uh, with <laughs> I've got a bag of ball bearings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna home alone him. <laughs> yeah, oh. exactly. Uh, where do I have to be to basically position those that if he's gonna be coming towards us, he's gonna be slipping you on? You can him. toss them. You can toss them. Okay, him. so can I throw them from here? Like to just be like, ha ha, ball bearings. Yeah, you bitch. got enough. You got enough space for that. All right, cool. <laughs> 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 So I'm going to throw just a bunch of ball bearings. <laughs> I, I'm guessing I don't have time to count out exactly how many I'm throwing. No, it's just a bag of them. No, it's just a bag. Bag. So uh, what what am I rolling for that? Is that a... I'm pretty sure it's just an action. It's just an action. Okay. So Here. Yeah. So I'm going to put down, like, where on the map it... Uh, okay. We're gonna, we'll make this simple. I'm not going to make this complicated. Go for it. I, I, it's a, it's a, it's an object I have yet to use other than one time where we cheated. So instead of having a thousand, I have nine hundred and ninety-nine. <laughs> ha! My only fear with it was I know Wake needs to get close to do any sort of attack, but. So approaching would be more difficult for him. Oh, but no, I feel this is like, fine. But I feel like the rest of us can uh, work around these pretty easily. All yeah, right. they're they're in a they're in an area ten feet on a side. Uh, they have to make a DC ten uh, Dex check or fall pr prone if moving through the area. Well, it's his it's Johnny Dark Souls turn. All right, and he's flailing around with the fire. <laughs> A, He's on fire, a, surrounded with a, with by a ball giant bearings. wooden cross that's probably ten feet in reach, using it as a giant flaming club. So, uh, so additional effect of heat metal, by the way, since that's his armor, he can't just drop it. He has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks as long as he is in contact with that <laughs> heat metal. And he's a zombie, so don't worry, he's not taking well, it off. <laughs> It just falls onto the ball thing. It's just this <laughs> boiling, burning mess of flesh. <laughs> he rolled a nat one, so I guess that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> nat one for him! Hooray! Finally, the wonder strikes just falls flat us. on his ass as he's flailing. <laughs> now you're one of us. <laughs> yeah. Honorary member. <laughs> You're the new Ray. <laughs> you said he has disadvantage on all checks and on, everything? On on attack rolls and ability checks. Okay. <laughs> What's up, Zito? I need to roll severity. <laughs> all right. <laughs> roll severity, Zito. Because I know what I'm doing on my turn if he has to disadvantage on all of that. I'm going to make it public. <laughs> Everybody can see how bad this gets. As public as it can get. Yeah. I couldn't read that. A one! <laughs> a he, a, a one! zero one? <laughs> so that's as bad as it gets, right? Yeah. That's about as bad as it could possibly get. So a he portal. fell, he dropped his cross, it probably stabbed him, pinned him to the ground. A portal from hell opened up and fire demons just came up and grabbed him. <laughs> that is the most natural one of the natural wonders. This is an unnaturally bad natural one. That might be a supernatural one. Yeah. So, what happens to this gentleman, Zito? He I'm glad he wasn't a friend. Takes a step forward, <laughs> exclaiming <laughs> that by the right of Usha, I shall. Macaulay Culkin slips <laughs> on the ball bearings. <laughs> I <laughs> shall. <laughs> throws it into the air. It spins <laughs> in slow mo. Hits the floor. 
The armor is so hot and so searing that it makes a dent into the floorboards. <laughs> Boosh. Oh, sh <laughs> <laughs> Through the water. <laughs> oh, great. So he's broken a hole into the ship. We, we probably need to get out. <laughs> is he, like, dead? No, the ship's still buoyant. Okay. okay. You watch as... Um, you know what? Hold on. Did he just... Okay, fuck me. Just in that one. <laughs> <laughs> Natural wonders, baby! Yeah! Welcome to the crew! Three ones and one go- You know what? F I don't care. This is fine. Three ones only, and a one, one of which is on a The only thing I'm angry about is that I spent so much time making this guy last night. <laughs> <laughs> Best laid plan, my you, friend. You watch as his hand scrambles up to try to grab the floorboards. <laughs> I just Done. Like the idea Combat's of over. <laughs> I'm just sitting here like, well, I feel like that just sort of happens. <laughs> You're welcome. Can I take a break for like five minutes to compress all this shit? <laughs> Can I gather my ball bearings? <laughs> I mean, some of them probably fell into the ocean. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're getting like ten back. Oh, jeez. Well, they they kind of mouse trapped their way into the ocean. Uh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> like just just for a minute, I just need a cup of water. <laughs> all right. All we'll right. be right I'll back. Be right. I will be right back. It's no we will be right back. <laughs> what an exciting twist. <laughs> Poor Zito. Yeah, no. Had I the presence of mind, well, no, it would have taken too many actions, but, like, not only throw all those ball bearings, but then, like, something from the alchemy jug just to make it slippery. <laughs> what I was about to do if it got to my turn, throw a net on him. <laughs> he needs to make a DC save 10 to, save ah! to get out of it. <laughs> In order to move. Uh... Let's see. Let's see if I can figure out where we left off here. I see we got uh, Game Anal IST mm -hmm. uh, f with 500 bits. Thank you, Game Anal IST. Oh, Game Analyst. Thank you. Mm. Uh, game Analyst. Uh, no message, just bits. Thank, Thank you, you kindly. <laughs> Cherry T Draws with 500 bits says the whip just reminded me of Castlevania. So now Ezra is an honorary Belmont. There we go. Hunting vampires. <laughs> Chaos Panda drops 500 and asks, Grant, if you had the chance, would you have gone Arcane Trickster? Uh, probably not. I actually really like how this is working out. Arcane Trickster has goofy stuff that I think I would have enjoyed, but mm. I, I personally prefer this. This seems like a simpler route to get essentially the same results. <laughs> Jason Ringmaster with a thousand bits says, Did Wake forget about the silver-plated spear? Uh, no. He's no, been I was using, using it the whole time. Yeah. All right, he's back. I think we should. Uh... Yeah. Welcome back to the table. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even mad. This is just great. I'm loving this. It's how the dice go. <laughs> the dice just really fucking hated him. I really hope it doesn't do this again with something else I have planned. <laughs> well... And then the Kick. Kraken chokes on its own tentacle. Kick. You watch as sharks jump up and, like, kind of, like, push their way through the hole as they're grabbing him and lurching him down. <laughs> yeah, they, wouldn't they be burning themselves? So yeah, you, you hear the water, like, sizzle and boil as yep, it goes down. So congratulations, you won. Hey, we did it! <laughs> All right, let's see what the hell's up with this room. Red just looks to you just like, I can't believe that worked. I, I'm... I've seen so many things in this world <laughs> that are so beyond recognition, and yet something as a child's <laughs> toy trick Look, he was defeated a, big... a vampire. <laughs> Look, he was a big, heavy man covering in real, covered in really hot armor. I think I, I, stalling I, him was the best I just, option. I just put my arm on my shoulder. Welcome to, the, <laughs> welcome to Ezra of Lockwood's Natural Wonders. <laughs> She shrugs it off and just walks over to the yeah. walks over to the side. She's now well now the cross is gone, so you can't exer observe that shit. She's gonna continue to look at the crates. Uh, I'm gonna roll investigation for her. I'm also going to investigate this area. Yeah, sure. Why not? I don't feel like you guys deserve this, but I'm gonna roll the fucking treasure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not coming from him. Nope. Uh, I got a ten. I got an eleven or six, uh, seventeen. Sorry. I also got a, actually, 18. 17 on the investigation. 17, yeah. 18, and what? 10. 10. And we killed the scary vampire lady. 
No, you did work. <laughs> you did do work. I'm just so mad at how this I was initially planning worked. on throwing the ball bearings right behind her as I was sneaking up on her. <laughs> like, this whole time has been me wanting to use these. <laughs> Well, congratulations. Time. <laughs> you found the best time. Yeah. I've never seen ball bearings kill someone before. You've done it. To be fair, I think I'm going to give more of the... Uh... Oh, no. The credit goes to Eloy, but the fact that, he's, the, fact that the ball bearings is what surmised him. Like, to be fair, him. I also shot a big fireball at him first. <laughs> you did light him on fire. Yep. You found out he was alive. Okay, so I'm going to tell you how this was going to work. If you guys killed her... And then, like, look through all the stuff. He would have came around and cleaved every single one of you with the giant swing. Well, nice. I'm glad that didn't happen. Yep. So, you missing <laughs> Woo! actually did Kudos something. Kudos to me. <laughs> all right. So all up in here, crew. <laughs> Your just, captain's always got a plan. Just as planned, huh? Okay, <laughs> Kakudori. All right. We can probably um, kill the webcam. 660 silver pieces. Hey! They look like they were all kind of like pulled together from all the bodies that were left inside these crates. Like, there are chests and uh, there are upper torsos and lower torsos kind of like packed in. And it looks like these were used for feeding. Uh, Red now begins to look through one of the other small boxes and there's more of the journal. Along with that is also... Another, another symbol of Ludarius. This one, not cursed. Hey, Rest, look, this one isn't cursed. You don't know that. <laughs> I mean, it's not bleeding when I'm holding it. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> so I just toss it to him. He takes it. Uh, he's going to give it to Red because she feels like, like this will be more up her alley for investigation. It's just a normal symbol to him. Like It's like the thing he has on his belt. So he's he's like I already have one, so there's no point in that. I'm hey, gonna... don't go regifting. <laughs> <laughs> that was a present. That was a gift. I thought you'd appreciate it. You seemed like the kind of person that would like. Red it. begins to read from the book. She it's very scrawled accounts as to uh, how there was a willing host from the Fathership who used to worship that of Ludarius and now wished to turn to Usha, but. For the cause, he had to still keep his faith in Ludarius for the Bottled Lightning Project to see its results through. So, he subjected himself to torture to condition being accustomed to pain. The journal will then continue to describe that the host's conversion into a vampire was not complete due to his faith in Ludarius, even though he was trying to keep that faith to make sure that the project would see proper results. Huh. So, his entire plan backfired. But all in all, the fathership was uh, proved to be a rousing success to corrupt those who were part of Ludarius over to this cause. Can I see that real quick? Hands it to you. I take out my pen. And now his bitch ass lies at the bottom <laughs> of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> she just like looks at you like... Thanks, my employer will love to have that little tidbit. You're welcome. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, out of all of this, there is actually one other thing you could find. There is a small chest that looks like it's a locked, like, actual merchant's chest. I check it for traps. Go for it. Uh, modified 20. Not trapped, but it is locked. I mean, you can either pick that yeah. lock. I, I'm saving this bar for like something that we are into, like this skeleton yeah, no, key for I, something that's like okay, we can't. There's no lock device here. Yeah, mm. I get you. All right. Uh, well then, I'm going to use my thieves tools. Uh, jeez, I get. I know I get a ton of bonus with this because double proficiency in in thieves tools. So that would be. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so your proficiency is plus three, so that'd be plus six, I six. believe. Yep. So, yeah. So, all right. So, 18. 18. All right. Well, get ready to write all this down. Ooh. Two thousand copper pieces. Seven hundred. Silver pieces, 
70 gold pieces, a blue quartz, hematite, two malachites, one moss agite, two pieces of obsidian, one piece of turquoise, and a bag with what sounds like marbles. Can I have that? <laughs> you open the bag? Do you? Yes. They're beans. Well, not quite what I thought, but <coughs> if we're going to get a Jack and the Beanstalk <laughs> adventure out of this, oh my god. <laughs> Can I uh, do a survival check on these beans? Sure. I want to like, see if I've seen any <laughs> beans like this before. This bag of beans. Too extreme for a human being. Uh, this is a 20 modified. You never knew that beans were made of glass. The glass beans. I wouldn't want to eat these. Kink, kink, kink. Yeah, that's glass. No, it's glass. Huh. I mean, all right. <laughs> I'm curious. Go ahead and add that is, bag yeah. of glass beans to your inventory. <laughs> Red, is these magic beans? They're just glass. I think they're artistry. Or how many cows we can get for them. <laughs> glass cows. Yeah. <laughs> for um, these glass magic beans. All right. You also obtain a small potion, a small light blue potion, a vial that looks like an eye drop of red potion, and another potion of superior healing. All right. Somebody else can take that. I already have the other one. Red eyedropper. I, I, Do you like it? Uh, you take it. I stocked yeah. up pretty good, plus I've got healing spells. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing uh, <laughs> Golfer will be able to help us figure out, what all this figure out some of these things. All right. Well, uh, checking the rest of the ship. Yeah, that one that one room we didn't go into. Yep. That one that actually opened for you. Pretty much the rest of it was all like just treasure drops, so I want you to roll me one more investigation. I'll use the good dice. I got a nat 20 this time. Ooh. At two good dice, nat one. Nat one. 11. 11? Huh. Well, you find a very fully functionally attuned robe to Ludarius. Okay. And a small set of chainmail armor. You find jack shit. <laughs> you look down the hole where the knight came from. Or where he fell? Yeah, where he fell. Just a shark? Yep. Whoa. <laughs> nice try. And you. That hole should be leaking. That, that was my thought. I was like, we like, should This room it. must be vacuum sealed or something. <laughs> No, it's actually elevated. When you went ah, in the back, okay. it's hoisted uh, up okay. Oh, okay. further. The, uh, the, the, I'm sorry, the crew's quarters were actually elevated from the water. That, that makes sense. Makes that sense. side's sinking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and eh, you find ten gold pieces. You find a couple of dead bodies. You just rummage through and find a couple of uh, gold pieces. All right. I show Risk the attuned robe of Ludarius. So what... Would this have any, like, use to one of us? Or, like, it's what kind of power would this Well, grant? Ludarius is the father of light, so I would have some sort of resemblance that it might have something to do with holy, radiant, or some kind of prevention against darkness. Hmm, all right. I can't say for what it completely is, but perhaps wearing it, or perhaps even just having a little bit of time to understand its attunement we could discover what it's worth. All right. Well, I feel like being a robe that uh, belongs, you know, that is that is attuned to a god. Risf, you helped me a lot back there. I want you to have this. <laughs> it's over. It's over. It's so, way too big It's for way him. too big for him. I'm sure someone on the My ship... My quest continues, <laughs> and it grows closer one day. I'm sure someone on the ship is a seamstress. We can figure this out. <laughs> Get this hemmed. You know what? Risf is way nicer than any of the other gods I've met. I would, <laughs> I would pray to Risf if he becomes a god. You would? I would. 
Well, I am a vengeful god. <laughs> Got my backing wrist. By the way, I still think this ship is sinking. I think it's time we get off. Oh, Red just looks to you. I think it's time we get off the ship, and I have all the information I could possibly need for my job. All right. I break a jar of lantern oil. Yeah, I was going to say. Let's, <laughs> let's get off the ship first. <laughs> no, it's, it, this room's on fire now. All right. Well, <laughs> we get, start running. As you, yeah, as you guys like leave the ship, it's just you. Boom. <laughs> 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 Everyone enjoys Elemental it. attunement! Wha-pow! Well, you get off the... Well, you're on your little rowboat, but now comes the fun part of Making going it back. back. <laughs> All right, let's untie this rope here from this burning boat. Okay, now before we start setting off, would it be smart to tie these oars to, like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> something on the boat so if if the worst happens and you drop them, <laughs> we'll just pull it back in? I mean... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But how do you intend to do that? They're slick oars. We can't. Like, I mean, you can carve a notch into them, I guess. I like that idea. <laughs> All right. How much? Okay. I'm gonna try to do like a. Oh God! Fucking damn it! I am going to try to do a quick slap dash, like carve a groove around these oars so we can tie a rope around them. That's fine. Uh, that is... Roll uh, survival. Is this survival? Okay, that's a 23. Yeah, that's fine. You got I that I dig a groove there. around them and just, like, tie rope. Tie All of rope. you turn your heads as you hear the sound of something breaking the surface of a water. That's a far bigger shark than last you saw. Those were Makos before. That's a great white. Just coming we don't out be here of the center of the water. <laughs> we don't want to be here anymore. I'm going to start rowing. Yep. And I, and for those who don't know, I put an hourglass right there. Yep. Uh, <laughs> athletics check is a ba 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 22. 22. Let's go. Whoosh, whoosh, All right. Whoosh. So you make 60, and now I'm going to roll for something else. Nope. Good. Nope, you're fine. You feel no disturbance <laughs> of the water, but now it's starting to get a little bit harder to crow through it because now you're in the blood. All right, rolling that athletics check. Uh, that's an 18. Oh, God. No disturbance. Yay! <laughs> Nothing so far. I'm, I'm going to, let's see. How close is that shark? We... Uh, you are now in the center point of where it came out. <laughs> so I'm really booking high. it. So, like, we're right over where it was, okay. I'm assuming. I'm, I'm going to ready an action. If that shark circus surfaces again, I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers at it. Okay. All right. Uh, this one was uh, really good uh, athletics. It's a 25. You get stuck. <laughs> the blood That's... is so congealed and thick that it stops you. A 20, I rolled a fucking 19. <laughs> God damn it. All right. I'm going to try one more time here. That's significantly worse. Uh, that's a nine. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I'm sorry, ten modified. You're, you row as fast and as hard as you can, but you can't move. Oh, fuck me. And let me roll again. All right, well, it's not the great white, but a Mako jumps up, and boy, it looks meaner than before as it comes up and tries to jump on the ship. Oh, on the rowboat. Uh, do I get an action, like a reaction? Well, I gotta to roll or? to see if it actually like lands on it. Okay. I still have this alchemy jug. Do you think if I dumped some mayonnaise over the side, that would dissuade the sharks from? There is now a mako shark thrashing in the middle of your rowboat. Oh god! Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna see who it attacks. It goes for risk. All right. What what else can that thing make, other than mayonnaise? Because there might be something that might. Decoagulate the blood. R Risf is able to punch it in the nose no, and do the old away. shark's tail. Yeah, <laughs> go away. I can make a little. I can make eight, eight ounces of acid, half half an ounce of basic poison, four gallons of beer, a gallon of honey, two gallons of mayonnaise, a quart of oil, two gallons of vinegar. Eight vinegar. Gallons. Okay. All right. In the water. All right. I. I. Well, it's gonna take a little bit of time. Whatever. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna keep trying to row. If you guys want to get this. All right. Fucking I'm shark producing off. producing vinegar. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. All right. As they continue to try to get the shark off of the boat. Uh, that is a 19 for 19? athletics this time. You make it through with no incident. Good job, Matt! All right, All right, what are you guys going to do about the shark on the ship? I'm just yelling at an Aquan, <laughs> get off my boat! <laughs> it hisses at you. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> How big is this shark? It's a Mako. It's about, like, as long as the rowboat. Yeah, it's, uh. it's, it's about six, seven feet long. Yeah. 
jeez. Um, it's in the boat with us. Um, just push it out. Use a strength check. Yeah. It's just kind of flopping. I used my action to create vinegar. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? You, you loosened us up. You got me moving. Well, I haven't poured it yet. I've just made it. Oh, well. It takes an action to make and another action to pour. Then it's the placebo effect. <laughs> just the smell of vinegar has got me hurry going. Up. Okay, okay there we go. I'm just going to try and oh, shove it off, off board. Seven? Red, do you want to help? Hands are kind of tied right now. I'm assuming I'm athletics. That, that one, you punch it in the snap. No, get out of here. <laughs> Yay! All right. All right. Athletics. All right. I'm keep rolling. I'm not pouring the vinegar. In the, in the water? In All the right, water. Roll with to, advantage. To decongeal. Okay, roll with advantage. Nat 20. Boom. Whoa! <laughs> we still got time. The you timer may... ain't gone. All right. You got one more. Am I still rolling with advantage? Nope. Damn it. Uh, that's a uh, 12. You've reached the edge. You've been able to push out with no problem. Hey! Pull us up! <laughs> there are bubbles underneath your rowboat. Quickly! I'm faster. <laughs> <laughs> Captain's orders! Yeah, I'm gonna ready that, dis that dissident whispers again. <laughs> All right, how much time do you guys have left? And Zero. Just stopped. They grab. They give you the ropes enough for you to start pulling Pull! yourself up. All of you, roll me a collective athletics check as the bubbles begin to rise further. I didn't help much. Five, six. I did good. I did good. It's a 25. That is a 19 on the die. Well, now it's time for Risk and for uh, Red. Risk does a pretty fair amount of help on there, even though he's got disadvantage. Red's a little... Red, uh, it's not her forte. You guys make it just 10 feet as the shark's head... Rises out of the water. This thing now Whoa. has like four rows of teeth, fang elongated. This thing is a vampire now. Oh! Roll acrobatics to jump off this fucking robo. A vamp white. Sixteen. Acrobatics is a twenty-two. Twenty-four. Time to roll for risk and for red. Not good for risk. Is it a free action to drop something? Just ask him. Yeah, it is. All right. But I'm going to just, let's see. All right, now to roll for the shark. A nat one, so never mind. Ah, okay. He, you guys jump off. You back kick the rowboat just in a way so it swings up. <laughs> Bing! <laughs> <laughs> Eloy saves the day again. Thank you, Eloy. You've made your captain proud. I point, I point down there. Those guys are assholes. <laughs> <laughs> well, had things gone a little bit less smoothly, I was ready to drop this explosive bolt in that big old mouth and see what happened. <laughs> Smile, <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> All right, Yeldon, without anyone's accord, begins to swim away, not wanting to stay in this area. Good move, Yeldon. <laughs> Good call, Yeldon. Let's get us out of here. And that's where we'll stop for now. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Good times. Boy, howdy. Wow, I did not expect this encounter to run this long. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Well, that was a that was a spooky ship. We had a lot that of is now burning. That yeah. is yep, and you as you sail away, you watch the Manta Ruva turn to ash in a Viking send off. <laughs> <sighs> Good riddance. So, um we gonna talk about the fact that they're just like, I don't know. A hundred vampire sharks swimming yeah, the I feel ocean like that's, now. Uh, I feel like that's kind of a bad like that, thing. Yeah, I feel like that's going to spread real quick. Red just looks at you. I have no way of controlling it. Like, can I we, like, know. sanctify this I water mean, or something? I don't know what to do. I mean, uh, a possible positive out of this, I guess they'll if they go deep, it will be uh, more of an issue, but... Not a whole lot of, like, lots of sunlight refracting down there, so... That is true. <laughs> if the sun just shows up, it could just melt them away. Well, I mean, you can get pretty down the water where they... I was gonna say, I know they can get pretty deep and get where it's dark. But uh, anything that might be a surface problem, at least during the day... I'm just saying, like, the, the abyssals were less of an issue for me than this. 
I, I'm still confused about how you can make a shark want blood more. <laughs> the only thing we can hope, I have no, no one here has any idea or resource to think of something. Well, it looks like you might need me then. What I recognize that What do you got, what do you got, you Gulfer? Got, Gulfer. Now hear me out. You got that alchemy jug, don't you? That I do, though I just used it, so we're going to have to wait for tomorrow for mm -hmm. anything we want to do. Well, that's want darn, vinegar? We got a lot of that. That's a darn shame. Well, I'll tell you what, lad. Tomorrow morning you make me some new oil. I got me a bunch of these here flasks. We pour it in there and light them up. Set the whole ocean ablaze. All right, so we'll just uh, stay make a, quart of oil a, a day. little bit further away from this. <laughs> oh, we got a lot of oil barrels. Oh, that's right. We do have a bunch. Yep. Why don't we just cut some of them loose and burn this <laughs> bitch down? I like the way you think, lad. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, <laughs> yeah that, that, that alchemy jug, that can be replenishing our stock yes. every day. <laughs> yeah, we have, we have ten barrels of oil just waiting like in, the, in how much Yeldon's do you ass. Use? Uh, how much would it take to... Let's see. You said it was like 350 feet of... 360 feet. 360 in a radius? Yep. I'm not sure how many barrels of oil that is, frankly. <laughs> uh, spread apart, you could probably get away with keeping two, if you want to be frugal. I'll be frugal and keep two. We can restock. All right. So you go ahead and plop eight uh, barrels yeah, in a circle around this whole area. <laughs> yep. Wait a few hours, and when you give the when word... It, when it looks all nice and slick. All right, who's ready for fireworks? Yeah. I take out that wand that I used with the fireworks. Bam! <laughs> You watch. Subtract one use from it. Yep. You watch as the firework kind of just spins out into the water. <laughs> a fucking mushroom cloud of flames just erupt from the ocean. Mm. Well, I'm actually going to reward you guys for that. That's actually a really good thing that you just did. You actually have took the time to stop the vampirism from reaching out into the deeper waters. Yeah! Wake has a, uh... <laughs> Wake a doesn't exactly... Interest. Yeah, vested interest in keeping the waters relatively safe. <laughs> well, in any case, that's where we'll end tonight. Hooray! All right. We uh, saved the ocean! <laughs> the whole ocean! <laughs> I was ready for, uh, uh... All right, now we take this this vampire hunt nautical, and it's gonna be underwater shark vampire hunts. <laughs> Welcome to Shark Week. I'm awake. <laughs> A vampire uh, shark nato has you, just hit the coast of South Island. I'm, I'm loving it. Before we oh, kick yeah. over to uh, that at the end, though, like, this this was great. Like, I loved uh, fight. I, I loved the... Uh, Wake finally coming face to face with the undead. Yeah, <laughs> just like having to deal with the fact, like, okay, they uh, they might <laughs> exist. <laughs> okay, whatever that is, I don't like. I don't know what the undead are, but <laughs> but this those, sure whatever isn't suspect. dead and isn't alive, I'm not a fan of. <laughs> um, but I want to kick it over to the fan art real quick yeah, before we uh, of jump over fan, to. Uh, Actually, what if what if we alternate? You do a fan well, art, I do a bit drop. Uh, mo well, I mostly want to do this because I like leaving the fan art in the archives. And stuff oh like no, that. that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Okay, go ahead. So let's kick on over to the high seas. Uh, let me pull up Twitter real quick so I can give credit where credit is due. Yeah, go ahead and bring up the first one. Uh, this one we got a, a beautiful design of the Natural Wonders uh, standing in front of their proud flag. This is by Feral Tempered. Uh, you said, uh, Chapter 2, Lockwood Natural Wonders, Ezra Fly and the colors of their team, Wake Guy's <laughs> new Raptor boots, and Eloy practicing his bagpipes. You know, as much as we said that, like, we're still looking at the temporary design, I'm actually becoming more and more accustomed to that being the flag. <laughs> That's not bad, yeah. The tree with a lock in it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I'm against it. Dude, silly, I, I, silly I, don't, silly I don't think design. there should be words on the flag, but... Oh, no, no, but I like the, the design. The best flags yeah. have no words. All right, let's uh, move on to that's, number that's two. Uh, off the dome, this is know. one that I just like to call... Oh, Nedra, wow. yes! <laughs> no! Nedra, Nedra, yes! yes! <laughs> just letting her bestial instincts get the better of her. Uh, our beautiful punchy princess going full feral mm -hmm. and destroying shit. Uh, uh, who who the is the artist? Uh, this is uh, Jasper P R L on Twitter. I think I recently added that to what will be our fan mail rotation. Yeah, and here's some uh, here's some Grammy art. Can't go too far <laughs> without some Grammy. Let me scroll back. This is I'm, a little further I'm still, ago. I'm still in the midst of uh, 
getting that commission getting done. A, so we have official art of Grammy. So we can get some official Grammy art. Yeah. I was about to say, I think that's about the prettiest Grammy's ever looked. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is by Tunuki. Grammy in her youth. <laughs> T-U-N-U-K-I on Twitter. Nice. Where, where Grammy only smoked one pack a day and not seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is Grammy flashback. Yeah, she didn't. Uh, she didn't go. F- she hasn't gone full hag. This is her and her. This is her and her hag culinary school days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. We have uh, Wake and Nedra doing their training. Nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is by Asher Cortez. And it's just like N- and Nedra just being like, I don't know. Like, is, is he paying attention? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah. Ringmaster Ezra. <laughs> I tip my hat at thee. Uh, let me find this one. Uh, why do I put these so far out of order? I should just put these chronologically in the future. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is by Blitzy the Dragon. Nice. And with that big, with the tallest of top hats <laughs> and the fanciest of garb. So, so now what I want to see is he takes the hat off and there's the, the crawling actually, hand. Waving. Actually, the crawling hand is on his shoulder there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is <laughs> Juggling Wake. Let me, uh, see. I like this how is by, psyched I look. Yeah, so, jug- juggling Wake by Roast Grief wearing his uh, backwards coat. Now, I have a question. During that whole fucking marble scene, yeah. did you have the hand with you? Oh, the hand was always... Uh, I think the hand's the always hand, with The him. hand was on my shoulder, yeah. I guess I could have had him do it. I just like the idea of the hand waving at the zombie <laughs> as it goes <laughs> in the air. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, but uh, that's that's one by Roast Grief, and uh, yeah, it's Wake like fine here. I'll show you I can juggle. It's got good decks. Uh, this one's kind of hard for us to see, but this was uh, the Watcher's Tower. Ooh. Uh, oh. Yeah, you can kind of see people hanging around the base of the tower there for us. Uh, the monitor just doesn't have like really yeah. good I'm gonna, contrast. I'm, I'm going to ask like I, I know like this is cool and every this is cool and everything, and I really appreciate it, but like. We need to be able to see what the picture is. <laughs> I, I I get that here. Yeah. You can you can look at it on my phone. This is by Rai Guy Forty. Rai Guy Forty. I'm pretty sure uh, people at home should be able to see it. Yep. But just yeah, uh, it's, it's just it's pen, it's pencil on it's pencil on white paper, yeah. so it's a little yeah. light. Yeah. There's uh, oh, nice. yeah there's 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 BFFs forever and ever Nedra and Timothy. Um, let me find them. Do, do, do. I know they're around Alex here. Alex's first version. Yep, I was about Who did this one? But yeah, I love the cutesy art style. This is by Irk the Turtle. Nice. And uh, there's uh, Wake and Eloy at Grammy <laughs> ceremony. <laughs> this is married we're married now. now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, by Mango Hunter on Twitter. You didn't take those bands off, did you? <laughs> I still wear mine with honor, Grammy. <laughs> I mean, shit. Good on you. They probably smell bad you now. You should take them off. Oh, yeah. uh, this one was a while ago. This is by Toby Perry. There's Captain Ezra Looking flying his colors. Suave. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Look at that. Got that raised eyebrow. I can't even do that in real life. <laughs> And uh, this is one. (laughs) (laughs) This is one I like to call (laughs) Scrungliachi. This is by Petya Ojanin. (laughs) Honk. (laughs) We have to teach him how to ride the unicycle. And the last one we have here. This one's horrifying. (laughs) (laughs) That's some. That's some Junji Ito looking shit. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Grammy is goddamn horrifying. This one. <laughs> Scratching at the window. Seems like a more accurate Grammy, though. <laughs> yes, this is from the final no, this- scene at the Flappy Sing Ray as Grammy pops in. Yeah. This is only f- she only acts this way for you. Just like, <laughs> oh god, I know you don't like anything I make. <laughs> Look, it's not that. It's just my constitution isn't. I'm not strong enough for anything. You I'll make. make you strong. Fill I'm, your bones way, up with stuff. Like, you can't really. It doesn't really do it justice. But the look on Ezra's face. <laughs> yeah. Does anyone else see that? <laughs> He's just like, Am I the oh only my one god, no. This? <laughs> yes, thank you all so much. Um, uh, this was also by Fer- uh, Feral Tempered. Uh, thank you guys so much for the art. Keep them coming. It's brilliant. We love you guys. We love our natural wonders out there. Uh, but yes, now we can kick over to there and read off some of them bit drops. Thank you guys so much for joining us here. And we'll see you next time at the table. Kicking it over to Ben for some bit drops. 
All right, we got uh, Zachary Cremacy here with 500 bits saying, Deck of many things, fun to use because evil Eloy can be real. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, G DMs do not like Deck of Many Things. <laughs> not unless they're like heavily modified. Yeah. No, Deck of Many Things only happens when you reach level 20 and you've defeated the big bad. <laughs> Look, we have nothing else to do. Let's get yeah. crazy. <laughs> Uh, Tomatone with a thousand bits says, Hey, you guys are the reason I'm trying, trying to start a D and D group at dental school. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, Joe Debo. Teeth based powers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Joe Debo with a uh, 500 bits says, Lanny, it is over 9,000. Over 9,000. Wow. I'm not sure what they're referring to over 9,000. Probably either. something happened. Yeah. Well, if something <laughs> happened in probably, over 9, probably severity. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Penguin Man with 500 says, no bits, just message, but that's a lie. It was attached to 500 bits. Oh. <laughs> uh, Bad Bith uh, 666 with 500 says, first time catching you guys live. You guys Welcome. always make my week. Thank you so much. Thank you kindly. Yeah. Got uh, 800 bits here from Fading King saying, remember the biggest difference between a vampire and a zombie is that a vampire has brains and a zombie eats them. Oh. Yep. But the vampire in this one was blood starved, so she was kind of feral. <laughs> uh, feral enough to die. <laughs> Valrog the Invincible with 500 bits asks, How many breads has Ezra eaten? How many breads have you eaten? Mm, more than 10. <laughs> more, than, <laughs> more than 10? Less than 1,000. <laughs> Chaos Panda with 500 uh, says, RIP Zito's hard work, RIP BBEG. <laughs> Oh, no, he wasn't a BBEG to buy a log shot. He was just an encounter, but still, fuck. He was, he was like, I mean, you guess, got, guessing the shark might have been a, uh, <laughs> a bit of an encounter, but. Nah, that was more of just a. Uh, an was, environmental hazard. Yeah. Uh, I will say this, though. Because of that natural 20, bull, natural one bullshit, you guys did lose out on some good armor. Nah. That, that that's the that's the drawback here. It's oh just yeah, like, the, the if armor you killed him proper, you would have got some really cool armor. That's fair. I don't yeah. think many of us wear heavy armor anyway. So I don't think any of us wear heavy armor. Sellable anyway. Yeah. yeah. If if I do wind up taking a uh, taking a level in cleric, I'll be. Of course, I I imagine. Any armor for Eloy would need to be custom made or else heavily modified. <laughs> well, you can't wear legs, at least. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, let's see. We got uh, 500 bits from Is House uh, saying that turn belongs in the Museum of Natural One Story. <laughs> yeah, Natural One followed by a one on a D hundred yep. followed by a Natural One. <laughs> you don't you don't make it up when it comes to the Natural oh, Wonders motherfucker. here. Motherfucker. <laughs> uh, we got 1500 here from. Eric King W saying bits for Zito for the drowning zombie vampire evil paladin. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> He's never a coming. darker night. He's never coming back. <laughs> the darkest night. <laughs> I actually ran by vampire rules as well that if they touch water they evaporate. Oh, so <laughs> so he was so really now gone. that armor is just down at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> yep. <laughs> How long does that heat stay around? <laughs> <laughs> well, man, yeah, awake becoming a vampire would really suck. All right, time for a swim. Ah! Ah! <laughs> uh, we got 500 here from Wild Thoven uh, saying Ezra the Vampire Pirate. I was the ready vamp for it. The Vampire. The Vampire Rivateer. I don't, I don't know how immediately evil vampires turn, but if we, if we could just keep those corpus, corpses for blood bags for me, I, I would have be a uh, good guy. I would have said that you had three days to do something about it. Okay. Or else. <laughs> yeah. Or, or <laughs> by Ezra. Well, no, you would have had a thirst. You would have still been Ezra, but you would have had a thirst for blood and had voices <laughs> in your head. And uh, disadvantage during the day. <laughs> yeah. You can't drink water. Or shit like cloaks. that. Uh, let's see. We got a thousand bits here from Rukalek, uh saying, "Have you guys thought about taking the audio for these and doing a podcast?" We're uh, considering that. I mean, we have all the audio saved, right? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're looking into it. It would be rather labor-intensive, and we don't really have the manpower to do it within the group right now, but we are carefully archiving all of the audio so that we have the option to do that in the future. Uh, yeah, so it is something that we are considering. It's just something we have to buckle down and actually do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also... That's the ask. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, the post-production on podcasts is more laser, 
More laser intensive than you would think. Way laser yeah. intensive. Yeah, you need so many lasers. <laughs> and we only have three. Yeah. And and one of those is is just for the moon, just in case. <laughs> yeah, we keep it we pointed there. Our, we, we want to in case that it. son of a bitch makes a move. Yep. We're ready. <laughs> look, look, man, I just want to press one button and the moon is gone. I don't want to press three. That's what yep. the laser's for. Exactly. <laughs> we can't we can't reconfigure it. It's stuck there. Like now. there's yep. no even turn. Like we don't even have the turn key option. To yeah. It. There's nope. no safety device. It's just that button. <laughs> it sits there in the middle of the break room. I almost set my coffee on it once. <laughs> I mean, we could have lost a moon, guys. <laughs> Who uh, needs the tide anyway? <laughs> Disco Clown D with a thousand bits. No message, just bits. Thank you, Disco Clown Thanks. D. Thanks, Thanks Kyle. I'm Disco sensing never a pattern dies. here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got the Slush Pup with a thousand more bits. Slush Pup been dropping it on us today. Thanks, Thanks kindly, Slush Thank Pup. You. It's a name I don't really recognize, but I'm starting to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, says, uh, it's stuff like the giant vampire that convinces me y'all have the best D&D stream on the net. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, Sam Landhart drops 500 bits, saying, I'd like to point out, I called this happening, uh, except my version had him pinned to the floor by the cross, not speared through the floor with it. Well, if he <laughs> didn't get a fucking one on a 1D100! <laughs> uh, to be fair, with that uh, heat and metal, he was probably dead within the next couple of turns anyway. No, he had a good chunk of HP. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, that, that, that did some good damage, but not enough to kill. But those ones in concession, I'm just like, no, I have to give it to you. <laughs> Uh, Is House drops a thousand bits and says apparently he and fellow mod Jingosh the Flory did the math and supposedly there's about a one in four. They're claiming a, about a one in forty thousand chance of getting three consecutive ones, one of which was on a D hundred. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it, folks. Magic happening here for your eyeballs. Go play the Powerball, but not us because we roll bad. <laughs> I can never go to Vegas anymore. <laughs> Uh, Two Face Ship dropped 500, saying stuck at work, but thought I'd drop some bits. Thank you, Two Face Ship. Thank you. Thanks kindly. Uh, Tony Crepes with 500 says the first of Wrist's followers has been found. <laughs> Yay, my little boy. <laughs> The um, more people that pray to him, the more power he gets. The more yeah. godlike he becomes. All he needs to do is, in our traveling show is create a cult, and he's good. <laughs> uh, Mad Knight Hatter drops a thousand, says, "Don't worry, Zito. My D and D group messed up a boss almost as badly. We stealth behind. We stealth behind an armored were rat mad scientist, and one of our monks shoved him down a hundred twenty foot hole. <laughs> he was the main course for his own waste disposal monster pet. That's great. <laughs> That's awesome. He got sarlacked. It sounds like." <laughs> Uh, like in uh, when I first started playing D and D, and like the first big bad encounter of a session that I ran into, I drank like a potion of invisibility we found somewhere in the lab. Like I didn't know what the hell it was; it was just an orange potion. I'm like, okay, I'm invisible. Yeah. Uh, I sneak up behind the guy. Like great stealth check. Uh, he pulls out his wand because he hears everybody else coming around the hall. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna use an action to like disarm him. And then he's like, okay, he's start like you you disarm him. Like he's like and this is just like some wizard that needed that shit to work. Yeah. Like, oh shit, he's startled. Okay. I'm gonna make a kick. A kick. Nat nat twenty. Break his neck in one go. <laughs> oh. See, the only thing I could compare like that string of Nat ones is in my first ever game that I DM'd, uh our the first characters like came up against a bunch of uh like crazy fanatic cultists who are like about saving the environment so pretty much PETA mm -hmm. so they had shotguns the one guy shoots his own foot with a nat one <laughs> so the guy next to him is just like you fucking idiot this is how you do it <laughs> cause he can nat once and blows his fucking head off I'm like ah oh, god damn it that's great uh, they in in my last Pathfinder campaign with the, with the loading crew I was running a war priest who could uh, bless his bullets with he used uh, pistols and could bless his bullets with elemental damage. Yeah. And my GM apparently didn't realize that we knew that the final boss of the campaign was a fire demon. So I'd been stacking ice damage. Oh. Yeah, I I killed that thing solo in a round. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Just, laughs> <"Bull> <laughs> Uh, we got, uh, let's see, Blackwing Min with a thousand bits saying, missed about 40 minutes and entered on wake, igniting a room on fire with a lantern. What did I miss? <laughs> oh, you're going to want to check the archives. Yeah, yeah you will a little bit. You might want to check the archives on this one. Yeah. Uh, let's see, a thousand from Master Monster 11 is saying, to the victor go the spoils. Good job kicking some vampire ass. Yay. Yeah. You guys got some good. They're done. That. Take that, Draculaar. 
Uh, we got 1,500 from NG saying, I come into the stream to hear the ocean is being set ablaze. Damn it, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you came we, in My way. home! <laughs> we created and burned down an oil slick. <laughs> hey, hey only, only a football field size amount of, of It'll the It'll only ocean. burn for a while. Yeah, it's, a, it's a drop in the proverbial, in the proverbial Little ocean. did they know that spot would forever be known as the burning seas. <laughs> the fire pit. Uh, and... They say a great white beast prole the land. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Demon Zero X drops another 500 bits, and he corroborates that those two three ones in a row was apparently a one in 40,000 chance. Holy cow. God damn. <laughs> well, well, thank you guys so much for joining us here. We love you, and we'll see you guys next week. Have a good night, everybody. Woo! I can't wait for next week. Yes, I am excited to see... What happens us when uh, what happens when we finally hit Bulkard? Oh yeah, let's do it. Have a good night.